Hello, 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 ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to our first ever Dolaris Noob Deathmatch. This is going to be quite a fun little event. I'm I'm really going to enjoy this. I'm going to be joined today by a co-caster, Jan Sax, who um, who's going to be helping me uh, as we watch through the uh, the play of, of us two players today. Now, there's been a lot of trash talking between these two players. We have to keep them separated. Um, they're coming together today to see which can kill the other first. Hello, Twitch. Hello, YouTube. Let's go through the format briefly before I introduce my co-caster, and then we can go and speak to our two players. Now, we're, we're calling them noobs. They, they actually have hundreds and hundreds of hours in Stellaris, but as you probably well know, that 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 doesn't mean anything you know thousands of hours um as i have doesn't necessarily make you a great player uh, so what's the format well we're pitching one player against another which is going to be a lot of fun um and we're going to see which can kill the other first after that so that'll be round one after that we'll have round two where the players will get to choose a, an advisor, a, a helper, a companion, um, who will be aiding them and assisting them by pointing them in the right direction for round two. They can pick between myself or Yearn. Now, Yearn is arguably the better player, but he is more of a machine main, whereas Bio is my forte. So it is actually a hard choice for our two players, which is the better tutor to have in that stack at match. We'll probably be going for about four hours today. Uh, let's let's bring Yern in and we'll say hello and see what Yern thinks about today's pairing. Hello, Yern. Hello, hello. What do you mean, arguably? I said arguably, meaning you know one could comfortably argue that you're the better player. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Just... I'm saying I'm saying you know it's uh, not by definition, just it, it could be argued. Definitely on machine, one hundred percent on machine. I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't yeah. begin to imagine I, on on machine. I mean, I, I have actually coached David a little bit in the past with machines, and I'm super scared of coaching with bio because I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> oh no, consumer what? goods! What do I do? <laughs> oh I mean, goodness! Mo most of my bio playthroughs have been on on void dweller, and void dweller bio feels bad these days. Eesh. Oh yeah. Oh, that's uh, that's probably not. Uh... Yeah, that's not... You don't want that. Let so, me yeah. bring in... Oh, there, you've got a little image now. So I've got a head that moves, and you've got your image on the screen as well. That's good. Let's go and look at the lobby, too. We can show who yep. our players are today. We've got a couple of members of our community, which is nice. Uh, we have Dr. Nagy and uh, and uh, and Woodmancy. So who do you think is going to come out on top in this first round? You've seen the builds. I should probably show the builds to our people at home, shouldn't I? That would uh, be a good idea. That, that sounds like something a um, communicator would do, yes. Yes, yes, thank goodness. Thank thank goodness uh, I'm a fantastic communicator. So um, one of the things that, that I'm looking forward to here that's different from when we usually do these tournaments is that they, these are regular players. Like I'm assuming their skill level is going to match up a lot with a lot of the people viewing these uh, videos. They might even be better than the average player. They are, they are usually playing on Commodore difficulty. So they are similar in skill level. Um, I would say that the two bills, which you should see on screen now, uh, we've um, got, I've got the Nagis first one. Up. Probably the most. Nagis is probably the most competitive of the two. Um, so let's look at Nagis if, first, if then, shall we? Yeah. So Nagis is yeah. a clone army build. We've got technocracy, relentless industrialist. That's that's going to give a good advantage, especially relentless industrialist paired with clone. There's no disadvantages then to relentless industrialist. Um, little uh, unless interesting. Unless you turn your plan into a tomb world, but yeah. Yes, well, you don't have to. You can opt to not do that when the when the situation comes yes. up. Uh, and then technocracy, I think, may be a bit of a mistake in this build, actually, given that, well, given the rules are pretty much deathmatch rules. With with throwing two players uh, against each other with with almost no holds barred, the entire rules fits on one page, and most of that page is taken up with me waffling about um, how how two players enter and one leaves, uh, and but how there are no stakes. Played around a lot with the new technocracy. Like the the change of technocracy now is that it makes the the leader trait right different. It does. Like no, it does. It, 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 the issue is it's more research, and I'm not actually sure research is going to play as much of a role in this as just throwing everything into economy. I think the player that throws everything into alloys is probably going to come out on top here. 
to be honest. A small amount of research, maybe get blue lasers, um, upgrade your armor yeah, exactly. to level two. I, I think the, I think the research alternative is potentially very strong because, like you said, armor two, blue lasers, the discount on corvettes, all of those yeah. techs are really nice to get in a tech rush. Let's look at Woodman C's build then. So. Woodman C is running Angler's Cat. I thought, thought I think he dropped catalytic processing, didn't he? Or did he, has he kept that in? Um, he was talking about so. This one might of the not be the final. He, he's played a similar build to this a lot. Like he's played a lot of Ocean Paradise, but felt like it might be a little too weak here. So he changed to Prosperous Unification. And yes. you can get some really strong timings with Aquatic Prosperous Unification, especially oh, yeah. with Angler's. Oh like yeah, Angus no, I, is actually in PvP more and more and an A tier or S tier. Um, having said that, S-tier. that's generally because people are producing all of those extra consumer goods. They are running on uh, either they're either running on the uh, egalitarian or militarist, uh, sorry, egalitarian or uh, materialist living standards, which cost more consumer goods, and they're trying to pump out more research. I actually think in this format, anglers, though it does give more consumer goods, might not be that useful. It, it does allow for more alloy production as well, though, because you have more efficient uh, consumer good production. Sure. So it can hit some you early could, time. Yeah, you like... could completely switch over. I suppose you could completely switch over on your capital and uh, to, to alloys and basically have no alloy jobs except the angler jobs that produce alloys. That that would actually do it, wouldn't it? Especially if you're not going hard into research. But yeah, okay. No, I see it now. I take it back. Anglers we're, could we're probably. Work. Yeah, we're probably over... Analyzing it a little bit because again these are fairly new players in in like competitive <laughs> aspects. But the reason yeah. why we see anglers so much in PvP is just because more efficient. It's it's the same reason we used to see a lot of master crafters. It's just a very efficient civic. Anglers is very strong in the game. It will fall off later, but since this is going to be a fairly short game, probably no more than two hours, it's gonna stay strong all game. Yeah. All right. Let's go and speak and to our players. Then, we? Yeah. Let's do. All right, let's jump down. Hello, hello, hello. hello, hello. You are live on YouTube. Now, I I hope we have a clean match today. That means only biting, only swearing, um, only wedgies, you know, all of the important stuff. I'll go through the rules quickly, because that's we're we're going to blast those. Say again. Biting and scratching. Yeah, they're mandatory. And swirlies too, right? Yes, mandatory. Absolutely mandatory. I live on an ocean planet. Got to be swirlies. <laughs> All right. So we do have seven or eight rules in this game. And actually, I should make sure the rules are linked um, linked in the description. I'll just pop them. I'll pop them if both. If you do that, I'll read them for the, for the viewers. I'm assuming the players have read them. Uh, so oh, I'm almost done. Is... I'm almost done. Yeah. It's all right. Okay. Okay. You go ahead then. Yeah, Use I... that British accent and tell the people. I'll tell the people everything they need to know. Right. So... No pre-contact planetary invasion. That's just mean and nasty. We're not allowing it. Don't do it. Um, no AI spawning origins. We know your origins. That's fine. No guest out government types. In this matchup, we're banning guest out because we think that if one player picks it and the other doesn't, it's going to be quite an unfair advantage to the player that does pick it, though. And we want to have a, a reasonably balanced matchup here. Um, so empires also, because if you look at the settings, if I just scroll through it for our lovely viewers at home, you'll see that we do have... Uh, we do have pre, pre-FTL and pre-sapient species. So pre-FTLs could rise up into civilizations as the game goes on. No uh, federations, guarantees, defensive pacts, non-aggression pacts, commercial pacts, etc. The only thing you can do to the AI is kill them if you find them. No ganging up with the AI to take down the other player. That would be unsportsmanly behavior, sirs. Uh, also, no trading, especially with the AI and with each other. I mean, I assume you wouldn't, but but don't. Uh, no AI abuse, so no trading again. And you cannot join the galactic community if at all it ever happens. And that's it. The first player to subjugate the other player or conquer that player's capital wins the game. Or after two hours, the winner will be determined by judge adjudication or an audience vote, depending on how reasonable the audience are being. Any questions? The audience are always reasonable, Manchu. Mm -hmm. Yes, always reasonable. Looking at you people at home. Any no uh, questions? The main difference from an, from another game is uh, once you get in the game, we're going to tell you where each other are roughly, so you can go fight each other earlier. Explain how a clock works again, so when you give me the directions, I know where to go. 
we're, we're going with a 24 we... hour clock as well which may be more confusing for, for, for those of the american persuasion so you need to look for uh you need to look for 1800 hours if you could on the clock got it yeah no, no you guys call that to. military time don't you yes yes we do oh, we also Lord. write the date we also write a date in the correct order, month, day, year. So I would accept, now before we jump in, I, I want to address that. I would accept year, month, day. That makes sense from like a filing perspective, like a computer filing system, but not year, day, month. Uh, yeah, sorry, month, day, year. That like, that. Ugh. anyway, moving on. Let's not get into that because, <laughs> oh my. We have we we don't have time to burn. Right. Yeah, we'll play a match. We'll have a quick break for our players. Yern and I will probably stick around, do some after talk. Then, depending on the winner, uh, sorry, the loser will get to pick who their tutor is going to be for the second match. Either that's going to be Bontu or Yern. So myself or Yern. And the, then the winner gets stuck with whoever the other player doesn't pick. And then we'll play round two to finally crown our deathmatch noob champion. Alrighty. Um, Yern, do you want to press play and we'll... Uh, Oh, David, um, if you're ready up, we'll get going. And away we go. All right, we're going to jump into... So much into, of a noob, I've got the ready up. We're going to jump into our ultra-secure voice channel so our comms can't be decrypted. Um, Before leaving, I'm just going to say that um, Naki is 6 o'clock and David is 3 o'clock. So do east and do south. Yeah. Good luck, you two. May the worst one lose. May the odds be <laughs> ever in your favor. We're going to give you a few months on slowest, and then we'll go normal speed. All right, let me turn the music on. I've just realized I've got no music playing at all. Oh, I've got no volume at all on. That's the issue. Win set one second. Oh, that's much better. Yep, so the builds they are playing are the ones they linked. Very they nice are, are they? Let's take a look. Now that we talked about it. Oh, I guess they could have been watching, couldn't they? Oh, yeah. Uh. Oh, no. Recluse on, on the leader of, of Dr. Nagy's Empire. Minus 5% Diplo weight. Whatever will he do? Oh, my lord. Uh, and wouldn't oh, I've, see actually, I've seen this in the game as well. Why is he starting with that many traits? Um, this happened in one of the multiplayer games uh, that Mr. Barb hosted. Where the ruler will spawn with a negative trait and, a, in this case, two? No, sorry, one extra. It's, I think it's only happening on the Imperial uh, Yeah, they've set. got one extra trait plus a negative trait. I think yes. that's something to do with the Imperial Authority now, isn't it? I think that might be scripted I, into Imperial Authority. I don't think it's a bug. I, it, it was at, it was added to Noble. I don't think it was added to Imperial, but I could have I could have missed it. Maybe but, Imperial but this bug in the past, is causing it to happen. This is uh, the bug that um, made me and Seth now look into the exploit of this. You can do some really crazy exploit with uh, Empire editing and leader traits now. Oh, don't 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 give away the secrets live on air, Ian. Um, I, it, it, I want people to cheat like this because it's very easy to catch. Them. I suppose, I, yeah. I really prefer cheats that are easy to catch. Oh my goodness! Look how many, look how many consumer goods. So, let, looking at David, yeah. first thing I'm noticing is that he's not switched over his planetary designation to a forged capital. Um, he might not want to do that right away. Like, if I was he's making, making forty-five this many consumer goods. goods. Yeah, I, I mean, guess they're so. gonna, they should be I, fighting I, in I, ten, fifteen years. Why, why does he need them? Again, I would still want to make a small bank if I was making this much before swapping over. Because the anglers are super efficient. I mean, he'd only well, be changing to plus 30. Plus 30 is still yeah, lots I of consumer his, goods. His and anglers, then, true. And then he'd go up to plus 25 alloys. Yeah, you know, the pearl diver stayed. This is how stayed. bad I am at bio. Oh my goodness. Yeah, yeah, we... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, okay. uh, would you also go militarized economy right away, or would you stay on mixed? Uh, with with pearl divers like this, I'd go militarized economy. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, I'd probably demolish the research has, lab, uh, build an alloy he building. Has to remember to turn on uh, veneration of saints, though, and he fortify has. the board. Although that is less important, but it's still good. This is one of the things. I was. It's one of the things that. I often forget. Yeah, like whenever well, you play Maggie's spiritualist, to turn on information you... quarantine here. Plus five stability, just lost. Yeah. For the players, like, there's certain ethics that give you a free um, 
edict, and these are usually very good. Like, Information Quarantine and Veneration Resistance are both very good and should always be turned on at the start of the game. This is stupid. It's spawned in... Oh, do you want to go to normal? Or We can go to slow, I suppose, oh, actually. Yeah. Give them a chance. Yeah. Um, just um, Then, when we're a few years in, we'll move up to normal. Uh, so, yeah. something stupid here. Nagi spawned in, and his coordinated fulfillment center is auto-destructed. Because he doesn't have enough building slots, because he's clone and also relentless industrialist. Yeah. Ugh. There's several of these bugs. There was a lot of bugs like this on um, habitats when they were changed as well. So, at the moment, economically, Woodmancy is just leaps and bounds ahead here. If he were to switch over his capital, if he switch, if he were to switch over his capital to. Uh, alloy focused he'd be making almost double the number of alloys that Nagi is and still ahead on consumer goods and doing fine with other resources i mean he, he could probably buy more minerals as well here only purchasing 20 he's only buying 20 he should be buying 42 for yeah sure. absolutely he he, yeah and sell yeah, the food and, and is, yeah i mean he doesn't even have to sell the food although he could do it of course Nagi is going searching um, straight away look at this Nagi is sending out uh classist one, the first fleet, goodness gracious me, hasn't upgraded them though. Surprised, I'm surprised he's not changed the designs around because you probably want to change these to be uh, picket double, you know, picket double laser with uh, flat yeah. battery have, have and then ever... double armor. So that is different than what you actually suggested in your Corvette build. So maybe we should just go over why this is such a strong build at the moment. Yes, yeah, let's talk well, about it. Well, has been for the last year. Uh, if you're trying to go into the picket class again, show the people. Yeah, I'm, I'm on it. I'm on um, it. I'm on the, I've got the whole. I put it up. Yeah. So the the flak battery actually has the same physical DPS as a tier three railgun from level one. It, it's terrible against armor, but that's why you pair it with a double laser. And because the meta currently is more armor, the laser is very strong there. And not so just flak that. Makes you the laser deals 25% additional hull damage, whereas the kinetic, the, yeah. the missile and the kinetic don't deal any additional hull damage. Um, and armor just provides more hit points. One armor module here is 100 hit points versus 75 on the shield, straight up. Yeah, ever since the combat rework, armor is just better than shields in almost every situation. But yeah, the, the build currently on screen is what we recommend you use for your early corvettes. It is the strongest way to build. And it's also why getting blue lasers is, and level 2 armor is the tech we were talking about getting. Yes, because you want to, you probably just want to upgrade the lasers and you probably just want to upgrade the armor on this build. That, that nothing else yeah. really needs to be done. Oh, and Nagi is d diving into prosperity in the start. Woodmancy is already on prosperity too. That's the spiritualist yeah, point you had there. That's the spiritualist, yeah. I'm a little surprised. It's never bad going for prosperity, but I'm a little surprised they're not going for uh, for supremacy first. Yeah, I mean, given that they both done it, it's fine because yeah. it's a prisoner's dilemma here. If both of you pick prosperity, both of you will have better economies and do better. But if one of you, oh, sorry, not supremacy, sorry, I mean prosperity. If both of you pick prosperity, you'll both have better economies and do better, and neither has an advantage militarily. But if one picks supremacy, the other will lose out there and then be forced to pick supremacy as well to counter, meaning you both have weaker economies and therefore weaker militaries, but relatively stronger due to all the bonuses you get from supremacy. Yeah. Um, especially in the tech beta, I've heard from the players that supremacy is stronger than ever because you need hit and run. Because the meta in the tech beta has changed into almost pure Corvette fights. fight. Oh, yeah. Hit and run Corvettes are have you seen very this? strong. If David can take, if David can take just uh, EM, that one system, he's got a choke point. A ri but but the only issue with that is I believe. No, no, he's not been found. Sorry, I thought Nagi might be close to finding him. No, Nagi is just kind of drifting off. I think Nagi might go. I think Nagi might go far east rather than kind of close east. Not thinking that it's right in there. And it's worth mentioning that the two extra planets he has close to him is Tropical Planets, which, while not perfect for Aquatic, is still usable. Don't he? Doesn't he have Guaranteed? Oh, yeah, he has, extra, uh, sorry. Size 21, oh, yeah. yeah two, he and has four primitives. planets, two ocean and two tropical. Oh, Eight primitives on an primitives. alpine world. Uh, a, oh, a Tundra, right? Tundra, sorry, yeah. But they're not adaptive. Yeah, yeah. Yuck. Yeah, these aren't great. This is one of the things where... A strong player would obviously take them. I actually think if David takes him, he risks a rebellion. 
Yeah, it, economic gonna, issues. Yeah. So let's see if they they spec into supremacy. So actually, David here is David's on the ball. He he, he prosperity won, yeah. then spec he supremacy. Just took the, yeah. Must have had an event then. He probably had the 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 colonizer event, and he chose not to survey the planets for the extra unity. I'm guessing. And now he can take master ship rights. Nice, very nice. Yeah. But yeah, it is a nice dip into prosperity. Getting the the discount on building, especially because he's still not buying. He's buying alloys now instead of swapping over his consumer goods. Ugh, that's that's it. unfortunate. Yeah. Like so so he so he could be buying more minerals and building up his alloys. So looking at his economy, he's making so many consumer goods, and he's still. If yeah. he were to change over to a Ford specialist on the capital, he'd still be making plenty of consumer goods due to his pearl diver jobs. And therefore, he should do that rather than mm -hmm. spending energy which he could be using to buy minerals on these alloys. Yeah, because this way he isn't really expanding his economy. He, he's making so few minerals that he's not building a new building. So he has a lot of people stuck in anchor chips, which are nice. They're not terrible. But yeah, and, and clerk jobs. He, he could be making probably 30 to 35 alloys at the moment. Oh, he, yeah, he could buy no five problem. and be making an extra 10. Because he's catalytic processing, those alloy workers are producing five alloys for 10 food, which is uh, really yeah. nice. If he switched over the capital as well, that would be even more alloys. Let's look, what's the chat saying? Uh, let's see. Guys, I saw a message of new DLC. Tucker on um, on Twitch says, Guys, I saw a new uh, a message of new DLC. Was that just a mistype? Message of new DLC? I don't know anything about that. Jan, did you see a message of new DLC? Uh, I did not. I noticed there's uh, apparently a video out about uh, some combat changes coming. Ah, okay. I haven't, I haven't watched it yet. I haven't seen that, that yet. That might be what they're talking about. Okay. Ah, uh, was that the video on the Stellaris we official channel? Paradox earlier. Yeah. I yeah, I haven't gotten around to watching that yet. Um, I will have to look at that eventually. My going live message was new DLC. Oh, that's wrong. Oh, that's an ish that's a Twitch setting problem. Oh, oops. How do I change Mon that? Remember, Muntu is a, a sort of a boomer when it comes to Twitch. He doesn't really no, know what he's doing. I know what it is. The last time I streamed on Twitch, I was streaming the Galactic Civilizations 4 DLC that was new. Ah. Uh, I understand. Sorry, apologies. Yeah, if you came to watch for new DLC, that's that's not that's not something I can show you because I don't have it or know about it. So, oops. Um, so. If we notice uh, Nagi's build-up right now, because he's getting more minerals than David, he's actually building up his planet a lot faster than David is. So David's economy is still stronger because of Anglers. Yeah. But he's not going to be building up his economy as strongly as Nagi is. Well, don't forget as well, Nagi has to build up his economy faster because he's clone. If he doesn't, he's yeah. going to be having a massive unemployment issue. I wonder if he's going to colonize a world. And he's, uh, he's not... Egalitarian, he so he can't go. Oh, he's authoritarian. He can't go. Uh, he can't go. What's it called? Uh, utopian abundance. No, but he could still go social welfare. Right social welfare deals with the unhappiness yeah. problem as well for unemployed pops. Then they just produce unity. Uh, yeah, but yeah, but do you want unity when you can get research? Good point. I mean, unity is good point. Bad. He is not making a lot of unity. But yeah, I think this is one of the issues with uh, with technocracy at the moment. You used to be able to run academic privilege to get all your unity uh, from uh, your factions. You can't really do that these days. So, I think if the longer that David takes to find Nagi, the more powerful Nagi is going to become here. Actually, David For is sure. ironically in a much stronger starting position, but. I'm not sure he's utilizing. He's not really re uh, expanding out very quickly. He's unlike Nagi. He's not trying to find his opponent. He, he's waiting. Um, yeah. And all, he just got the um, what is it called the Red Church or something. Where yes, in his capital. What's that event called? Yeah. He, the, yeah. Which he should not do it. Yeah, it doesn't matter too much. But uh, if you started, you're going to keep running into their small fleet, which could stop his expansion. Exactly. He doesn't actually need to board the ship, so he just should ignore it. It's annoying. It's a, a UI issue, but just ignore it. On the other hand, he gets guaranteed combat computers from this, which is pretty nice. Ooh, and I'm, I'm proud of David. He is pre-building his colony ship. 
he hasn't f uh, started his, uh, he hasn't finished his star base yet, but he has almost finished his colony ship. Nag is a little bit faster. His colony ship is already out and moving. I saw but that. I this saw is one that. of the. This is one of the things you can do to really optimize your early game. Make sure you start building your colony ship before you need it. So once you once the starbase is done, which is going to be done in a little while, um, the ship should always already be over the planet. Although David is currently not moving it. Uh, should we go up to normal speed? Yeah, let's go to normal. We're good now. But some of the like the things you can do in the early game that matters more than anything really is how fast can you get your guaranteed habitables. Right now, Nagi is also forgetting to move in his colony ship. I'm guessing this is because these players both usually play with pausing. So you, once you start playing without pausing, it gets a lot more confusing. There's so many things you have to remember to do at the right times. Uh, and here goes Nagi, going for his colony, and David is still not moving. Is there, like, looking over these Empire Sponsors, is there anything else you would change, like, any sm small settings you'd tweak to make uh, these Empire so better? So, I drop Intelligent, I drop Talented, both useless in this setting. I, I definitely yeah. would. So, in terms of the, looking at the Brienne, Brienne? I'm assuming of Tarth. Um, intelligent, Talented, and Non-Adaptive, I'd chuck those straight out. I'd keep Aquatic here, that's a nice one to have. Um, I'd probably go with uh, either yeah. Rapid Breeders, given the fact that this game is going to be relatively short and the capital probably doesn't want to have um, too many issues. I'd either go with something like Rapid Breeders or possibly uh, the... Uh, is it called Vat Grown? I thought, uh, incubators. Incubators. Incubate. Something to boost uh, pop growth. I wouldn't go with Pop Assembly. I think that would be a little bit too on the nose. Um, yeah. I, I, I just really how don't do you feel about uh, sedentary? I haven't played enough around with immigration oh, in to this, know how in weak this it is. format, sedentary, one hundred percent instead of non-adaptive. Uh, yeah, the, okay. the main issues you re the only way sedentary can be become a problem is when you're really running really streamlined meta builds and you care a lot about being below a hundred empire size. Then sedentary can be an issue. Oh, not sedentary. Sorry, I'm thinking of um, unruly. I, yeah, I'm thinking of unruly. Apologies. Um, I don't mind sedentary, honestly. Uh, it's slight increase to resettlement cost. I don't tend to resettle that many pops. Slight decrease to pop growth from immigration. That's not very much, especially if you turn off immigration. Then it just becomes nothing. And I would yeah, actually recommend you turn it, it off. Doesn't it lower your pop growth when, like, when once your capital starts moving some of the pop growth off to the colonies? Doesn't it hurt it there? So, so it hurts Again, the pop growth on the colonies. This is the robot player speaking, of course. So, I, so the way migration just, works, I'll explain it quickly. So. Um, you get an immigration pull and then an emigration pull. New colonies have an emigration pull of 100, right? And if the emigration yes. pull is higher than the immigration pull, depending on the difference, you lose some percentage of your total pop growth, up to like 99%, basically, uh, depending on how many new colonies there are out there. So you can go down to pretty much no overall pop growth on the capital. Um, that's an issue because you do still want pop growth on the capital especially in a game like this but i would say a, a bigger problem if you have sedentary is that on the new colony whatever pop growth you lose from the capital you gain split amongst any colonies where the immigration pull is higher than the emigration pull so it, it, there's no loss there there's no magical pop growth created unless you have sedentary in which case whatever you lose on the capital the colonies get 15 percent less of that yeah, basically. That's, that's how I thought it worked. It only really affects the very early game because once you have quite a few big colonies, it creating new colonies isn't really a big emigration pool. Yeah. So it doesn't yeah, it doesn't really affect it. Unless you've got a couple of large planets with basically massively open jobs, uh, and, and not many other planets, and you have migration treaties with empires that have full planets which are which have lots of unemployment. Then you might get some immigration, uh, sorry, immigration late game, but but otherwise it's a, a setting you can pretty much ignore after the first thirty or forty years. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, I found the setting as well, by the way, Twitch. I found the setting. Apologies for that. It's now been changed to say let's play some Stellaris. Um, I didn't realize that it was on. Uh, yeah, sorry about that. That's uh, uh, for those of you that are upset on Twitch. Basically, if you're watching on YouTube, what happened is that. Twitch got a message saying something about a new DLC, but 
but that was in reference to the Galactic Civilizations 4 DLC from two weeks ago when I last streamed. Oops. Munter, munter, munter. Right, well, so Nagi's still exploring, run into 200 worth of fleet power and I think went home. Yes, to upgrade. What are we upgrading into? So right now, I'd say David is a little ahead on his expansion because he, he already got his second colony ship and he's moving it out where Nagi's is only halfway finished. And again, at this point in the game, I think anything should just be like focus hardcore on getting down those planets because your scaling is going to be so much stronger. Yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, I'm looking at these alloy numbers and I'm, I'm thinking in this this matchup, what we really need is more alloys. Oh, for sure. You are correct that it's definitely a mistake from uh, David not swapping his capital over to an alloy capital. Uh, in case the play does uh, everyone know about this trick, by the way, it's fairly new, so maybe you want to show the player, uh, the, the viewers. The forge capital designation. Yeah. In All the right. past, you weren't able to change your capital designation, but you can do that now. Yes, you've got some special ones. Um, basically, forge and factory shift one job from artisan to metallurgist or metallurgist to artisan, uh, depending on which one you pick. And that means you can actually specialize in metallurgy, for example. Uh, wait a minute, why is, why is there in, three metallurgist yeah. jobs? Oh, I must have a leader. Nagi must have a leader, which is giving plus one. Trade capital is also nice. That gives you extra trade value, though. Honestly, I would recommend going with the regular Empire capital most of the time. An extraction world, 15% to workers, as opposed to 10% to all resources from jobs. No, no, don't pick that. I mean, really, really, you only want to pick Empire capital, Forge capital, and very rarely factory capital. Yeah. Is there currently any viable trade builds? since they made the trader change. I haven't seen it around a lot. Any trade builds that are viable? So, yeah, traders are just dog poo. Um, uh, uh, Woodman C actually has none. Good for him. Um, Nagi has one. So, for one consumer good, they produce eight trade value, but they're also a specialist, so they take whatever your specialists require in terms of consumer good upkeep. So really, it's like 1.5 like consumer ha goods. a half or one more, yeah. Yeah, they're quite expensive. So I believe clones is still the only... Like, when I hear people talk about viable uh, trade builds, I still hear about trade clones as a possibility. That is because they actually have enough uh, pubs to also fill up the clerk jobs. Yeah, so but in that case... some value to build. No, but no I'm, I'm sorry. I think that's a false... Uh, kind of a false representation of what so yes you could fill up the trade jobs but if you're going to fill up jobs why not fill up more efficient jobs like it, it's basically saying oh clone is so good that i can still play this build which isn't effective and not suck the, the main thing there is the all I'm hearing is, is clone powerful not, cheap. well you, you know uh, what else is cheap uh mining districts generator districts agriculture districts they're sure. they're cheaper but they're actually but, but cheaper they're only than. Two, they're only two jobs per building or per. Yes, district, but they're, they're right? two thirds. The, they're 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 three quarters the price. Fair enough. With discounts, they're effectively almost as efficient per job, and you don't have to use up building slots, and they build faster. Yeah, it's it's sad. But like again, I play mostly robots, but like the the builds I liked playing as buyer was trade job uh, trade builds because they were so different. Oh, I'm getting a good point from Scorpion on, on, on YouTube. He says the extraction is only useful when your capital has scrapper jobs for the Shattered Ring, which give alloys to the uh, to the workers. That's actually a good point. I think there, maybe, you could make the argument if you get rid of all of your researchers, get rid of all of your unity production, get rid of anything which isn't worker job, then at that point, yeah, okay, I can see that happening. So any build in uh, 3.11 or whatever the the beta is currently working towards? Any build that who's working towards, sorry? So I think my testing in the current beta has been build no research and conquer the galaxy. Because the AI can't stop. So... Me. The AI doesn't get destroyed before you're 50. I think that does work. The issue is on a large enough galaxy, you eventually run into the cosmic stopping problem, which is that somewhere out there will be a, a blob of AI empires that are much more technologically advanced than you and have cruisers and you can't smash through if the galaxy size is large enough. But, True, but on 
400 I, stars my, or my something. That no. has, yeah, 400 or 600, I think it's very fair to not do it. By year 90, I had seen zero cruises. So I tried out Technocracy Tech Rush. That was also yeah. super powerful. So I went Technocracy Tech Rush Enigmatic Engineering, right? None of the AIs could benefit from my breakthrough technology. Um, Makes sense. I I was always getting researchers from research from my planets from the uh, from the from the researcher job from the the leader job, and that was now actually quite a lot more research than my neighbors, even with the Grand Admiral no scaling bonuses, um, and it meant that I was finishing up tier two, going into tier three, and they had most of the galaxy had barely gotten into tier two. So by the time I had cruises at year 50, the galaxy was still mostly on Corvettes. And then I would, at that point, I was just completely unassailable. I think if on a large enough galaxy size, I actually think tech rushing is better. Though the best strategy, the absolute hands down best strategy is crisis rush. No questions asked. Yeah. Absolute best strategy sure. in the tech beta because you get all of your tier five technologies jump drive instantly with Unity. So it therefore means Unity is now a more effective version of research if you're going for the crisis build, which is super paradoxical and, and, and toxic. By and by nerfing research, they also made uh, the Genius Armor build better. Yes, though I, I have a soft spot for Genius Armor. Larger. It is delightful. It's overpowered and broken, and it's very random these days. The, the removal of the, um, the upkeep trade leader uh, as a paragon made it a lot weaker. But it's such a delightful build to see get pulled off. Numbers we saw from Carlson in the tournament was amazing. I like Right. It it's fun to see skill, but big numbers are also very, very nice. I think so, but... I think it'll be worthwhile if you just pop down and tell Dr. Nagy that he should explore northwest from Bokramar and tell David to explore southwest from Anahita. That will put them into contact in the next the start of the contact now, which I think would be a good time. Yeah. Not to be too artificial, but just push the them in the right direction. What are we saying on Twitch? Aloy Rush can't steamroll forever. Yes, that's true. Just go by Eric to spoilers, Toxic God, and get researched by steamrolling. So they've, they've massively nerfed Toxic God. Um, massively nerfed it. And, uh, and, and yeah, they, they basically halved the outputs, which I don't think was necessary. So you said you guys are going to fight. Yeah, they were trash talking for a while, and now they're busy turtling up. <laughs> Terrible. Again, these are two players that are used to being able to pause the game. I cannot stress how how hard it is to oh, go yeah. from being able to pause to not being able to pause. Am I in the red by any chance? First... Yeah. Um, Am I flickering nope. at all? Or is just, it's just, just how fast normal is? Is this how fast normal yes. is at the moment? Because... Um, I played. I was playing on the 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 tech op the the, the, op the 3.11 beta, and I swear I've been playing on 3.11 beta exclusively the last three weeks. I've not been back in the regular game for a while. I swear it's faster than this, on normal speed. It feels rather. It, it feels normal, although multiplayer is always slightly slower than single player. Uh, I think the server might also choke us a bit, little bit. Yeah, Ragoon, nerfing Toxic God was never something I, I expected to hear either. I don't think it's necessary. <laughs> Why? Oh, like, Toxic God is such a toxic, difficult start. Really, really challenging. Why would you nerf the benefits at the end of that long, arduous, hundred-year journey? Like, for goodness sake, they don't get much. Why would you half, for pretty much half, what their bonuses are? I, I don't understand. What I'm most su surprised about is that they remember to nerf Toxic God but they didn't nerf um, um, unemployment from... Uh, oh, yes. Yeah, uh, yeah, so um, unemployment uh, utopian from abundance. Utopian Abundance is now the most effective way to get research in terms of yeah. consumer goods. Because for one consumer good per pop, you get six research and two unity. Whereas for two and a, to, for, for two and a half to three consumer goods per pop, you can get nine research and no unity. Which makes... It is... Unemployment <laughs> more effective for research in the open beta. Mwah, Should go kiss. over their plans for a for a little bit. Yes, they both have uh, both their colonies now, right? They do, they do. I'm looking. Let's start yeah. with Woodmancy. So Woodmancy has thrown an alloy foundry down. Nice, thirty alloys, and actually Woodmancy is pumping out ships. His fleet is getting quite a bit bigger. One point two k. He's kind of getting ready to 
to duke it out. Um, yeah. So he's still not swapping over his capital. So no. he's, he's overproducing consumer goods by quite a bit. Having said that, he, if he was a swap now, he'd basically be only net five or six consumer goods. So he's almost at the point where swapping isn't really a good idea. Well, I'm a little surprised that the um, the automation of unit. If you look at like he has two unemployed pearl divers with two employed artisans, why does the game do that? Like the pearl divers is cheaper and better. Oh, I guess it's not cheaper. Per se. Uh, no, it, it is cheaper. Well, it's cheaper in as much as it doesn't require it's, minerals it's instead of food. It's four versus six one. Yeah. Yeah. So it's eight upkeep versus seven upkeep. I mean, in this case, I think why? I think the pearl divers would be better than the artisans. Unemploy the artisans, but For that sure. kind of pop micromanagement is really difficult when you're not you're yeah. not used to not pausing the game and you, you feel quite overwhelmed. I'm sure I'm sure some of our lovely viewers at home can um, can can empathise and put themselves put themselves in the shoes of, of our two players today yeah. um, and kind of understand how it is really difficult to pick up on all of these small things when you're not used to the speed at which the game is going. Yeah, but the, coming back to what we talked about earlier, the fact that um, the, that David isn't buying the maximum amount of minerals he can is hurting him real bad now because he can't build up his planets fast enough. He's going well. No, he can build them up fast the enough. The issue is he's not doing pop management, so he needs to go into the pop screen and click on to, uh, like unemploy the colonists and force them into the priest yeah. jobs. They need to do something else. Like like for goodness' sake, they they're just making amenities when they could be making amenities and extra unity. Lots of extra unity. Um, yeah, but like, he, he still has three clerk jobs at the capital. The, these are the things that hopefully in the in the coaching will help them with, and it yeah. does make a huge difference. I see Nagi. I think Nagi's planet build-up is... Let's take a look uh, at Nagi, yeah. Somewhat, but he's going a lot more research, and he's making similar alloy numbers at this point, but a lot less no, consumer No, 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 isn't, isn't, isn't uh, David on... Is it woman sees on 30, Nagi's on 20. Oh, okay. Third less. Yeah, but that is with buying five. I guess he has the energy for it, though. I think that's all about um, to switch over, though. Nagi is good. F F figures are prime. Is going to be built up as a wait, a hollow theater before the industrial disc. Why? And yeah. A hollow theater? Why? Why? Why a hollow theater? Why are you doing this? So... Let, okay. Let's go over why it's a mistake, Muntu. Yes, uh, let's do that. Viewers. Let's do that. Let's talk about that for a minute before I just throw my mouse at the screen. Okay, so a hollow theater takes two two pops, two whole pops, and produces 20 amenities. You get five amenities from being uh, a colony. This isn't a colony, it's a forge world, so none from that. You also get amenities from the capital, plus seven at the moment, so that means you could have uh, five pops four or five pops without actually having an issue. You could also distribute amenities if you wanted, but more importantly, instead of having a hollow theater, which is using up two pops, using up consumer goods, and producing too many amenities, we don't need 20, and also using a building slot up, we could instead replace that with- And using and I can't, consumer goods, right? Yeah, I, yeah, I think I, uh, didn't I mention the consumer goods? If I didn't, yes, and using consumer maybe, goods. Yeah. Instead, we could replace it with a um, uh, with a luxury residence, which provides five amenities and three housing. Those five amenities are all you need to get to nine pops and still be uh, still be above fifty percent stability. As long as you don't go below fifty percent stability, it's actually more effective to have those pops working the jobs at these lower numbers. Don't quote this forever, but at low pop numbers, it's more effective to have pops working resource output jobs than working amenities jobs and getting a boost to your stability because the numbers, you're going to get like plus 20, 10% extra resources from jobs or so. At this point, we're at 56% yeah. plus three and a half percent. That's nothing. I'd rather one extra pop working a job than have pops in these, in these entertainer jobs. Um, Indeed. And, and while the housing doesn't matter for the pop growth of clones, it does matter a lot for every other build that uses pop growth. Yes, because we um, have logistic pop growth. If, I, if we jump back to David for a minute and we look at his capital, you'll see that David's capital is getting plus 1.12 additional growth because the number of pops he has is slightly more than half of his planetary capacity. Planet capacity is... Un uh, open districts, ignoring ones with tile blockers. So open districts times four, times two on a tomb world, and six on a guy world. I want to say, or maybe it's three on a tomb world. I can't remember anymore. Um, I think it's uh, two, three, four. 
but I can't remember either. No, it's four here. I think Gaia World is five or six. Okay, yeah. Because Gaia World, basically, there's so, no point in building city districts, in essence. Uh, plus, your available yeah. housing added into that. And right now, his capacity is nine, uh, 11 lower than it should be. Uh, the maximum plant capacity you can benefit from is 65, if I recall correctly. And his uh, capacity is currently 54. What do you mean the maximum you can benefit from is 65? So, the, the logistic pop growth uh, bonus you get is capped at a planning capacity of 65. If you have a planning capacity of 65, getting more planning capacity does increase your pop growth. It used to, but it hasn't for a few years now. Well, no, that depends on... That just depends on how many pops you have. And not just. I'm pretty sure there's a hard cap on planning capacity of 65. After that, it doesn't give you a benefit. Uh... No, that mm, mm, I think I think what you're running into here is that. So this is actually one of my earliest videos from like two years ago, where I did the maths on it. Basically, there's a logistic growth equation, which means that there's this sweet spot of um, planet capacity versus pops, where and there's an equation that governs it, where um, where you can get the most. Now, what they've done in the game in the settings is they've hard capped logistic pop growth. At, you can set the number between zero and one times base growth as additional growth. So at the moment in this game, it's capped at 50% uh, of base growth. So once it hits plus 1.5 from pops, it doesn't get any better. That's nothing to do with planet capacity being at 65. It's just that you can't go above 1.5 because of these settings. If we increase the settings, you could get up to three. Even then, being hard capped at three is a bit in some ways silly because the actual math means you can get much bigger numbers if you had massive planet capacity and lots of pops um basically i'll have to check that though yearn if yeah. maybe you're right i i just i've not noticed that i don't really look nope. at planet capacity I'm... anymore because they nerfed it into the ground with this 50 percent cap in the settings yeah i remember for back when i was playing hive before i became a dirty robot player uh, and i remember that you used to want to go for 70 or 75 planet capacity and then they made it change so you want to go to 65 and I just, I thought it was a hard cap based on the planet capacity, but maybe it's just the math around planet capacity means that there's no ef effect after 65 planet capacity. I'm, you know I what we did, yeah. Did you notice yeah. what we've done? We told them to go west of Astium and, and southwest to Anhitha. Mm -hmm. And you know what they both ran into? 2k worth of mining drones. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you're so evil. Oh, you're so evil. Um, and not, <clears throat> not the same 2k, by the way. But two different. No, no, it's the 2K same 2K. It's in Dianthe. It's the no, same no. 2K. In Dianthe and Ovastibum. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. The mining corps are the crisis, you guys. <laughs> Welcome to the new deathmatch. Oh, Hezerat says, Happy New Year. Happy New Year, Hezerat. Thank you very much for your first super chat. Um, we've got on Twitch, we've got uh, a sub goal going. What's our sub goal today? Let's see if I can figure that out. I press probably some way too high because of the insane amount of uh, support you got the first time you streamed the channel. No, no, no. The goal is which... we're, we're, the goal is at 140. We currently have 133 subs because it's not been a Ooh, month yet nice. since my first ever Twitch stream. So we only need seven subs before I have to worry about that again and get very confused and upset. Um, yeah, don't, don't, don't sub too many people. Yeah, no, it, no. It, it, much, it, much you can't it, handle it. Let's be Just nice. listen to this reverse psych no, psychology, look, Munchie. No, oh, no. sorry. Was that out loud? <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, you've set something up. Ursula just gifted a tier one sub to Cypix. Great. Well, thank you very much for your support. But let's all remain calm. Ooh, Hello, well, streamer. Cyper Hyper says, is Void Dweller actually good? And what can you advise about that? Yes, Void Dweller Hive is really good. I should probably do a video on it. Uh, actually, I will do a video on it. Thank you for reminding me. Uh, I will add oh, it to my list. Do you think you should make a video on, on the build I've told you to make a video on for months now? That, well, that's I don't know what you mean. I don't know what you mean. Unique yeah. idea. I think uh, this was my... I think everyone just heard me on stream come up with that idea live. So it was my idea. That's how that works, I'm pretty sure. Mm -hmm. I, I, I also, I don't I don't recall us having that conversation. And, um, and you have no proof. No proof. So, Rumble, Nagi Rumble. is over 100 empire size, and therefore expanding the council is just too expensive. Uh, as in to rush it. Were yeah. Nagi making more unity? Oh, one vision. Oh. It's, it's really hard one to keep vision. under 100 as clone, in my opinion. Oh. But especially, yeah, he is taking too many empty systems. 
No, that's not. But, well, I don't think that's the issue. The issue is that he should have taken. For his, if he wanted to stay under 100, it's really simple. It's really super simple. All you do is you take. Oh God! Oh Twitch! Oh, thank you, Ursula. So we're at 100. Oh no! I have to work out where the button is now. I have to work out where the button is. All right. So we we Twitch, hit the sub goal. I, I love whenever you. I, I, I we love hit the sub goal. I'm gonna give me a minute. Look, let me. I'm gonna deal with the stream, and then I'll come and try and figure out on Twitch how to make the sub goal 150. All right, and don't hit it. Don't try so, and hit it before we get there. In right. the meantime, I'll talk a little bit about why Hive Void Dweller is so strong right now. No, Part I wanted to just. Sorry, I just we... wanted to touch on uh, what's the yeah. what's the per Imperial prerogative. That's it. So yeah. if, if Nagi takes Imperial prerogative, his Empire size would actually be at 95 right now. Therefore, fine. That's that's what I think should be done. And the reason why it's important to be under 100 is currently, um, when you go into your uh, your council, you have the option to rush your agendas. And agendas are very strong. They're still very, very strong, even though they nerfed some of them. Um, and once you go over 100 empire size, the cost to launch them early becomes exponentially higher. It is like the difference from 99 to 101 is, I think it's two or three times, it's something crazy like that. Uh, Pink's fuck, Imperial Prerogative. I don't know if you just said that that was the word Muncher was looking for. Yeah, you probably, but, but yeah, probably. That's, uh, yeah. Oh, Principal Catalyst. Yeah. David Woodmansey is a level three uh, uh, scientist on the Principal Catalyst. That is so nice. Additionally, if he switches over his government from dictatorship and instead switches it to oligarchy, which I honestly think at this point in the game would be the best move to do at year 20, that catalyst goes up to an extra uh so right now ignoring any bonuses to that that specific scientist we got to 12 percent additional output 12 yeah. percent more to to alloys is, is good especially at the base of 3.75 here that would be a lovely bonus to have i'm just gonna go fk 30 seconds no you worries drop something and i can't find it that's all right um so ursula thank you very much for your gifted subs uh on twitch i am now going to attempt to find the button to change it because i did figure it out last time I streamed, and I, I will figure out how to move. And we also, um, Ekras, welcome as well, Twitch sub Prime subscriber. That's actually a really cool thing because Twitch is owned by Amazon, Amazon Prime. If you have an Amazon Prime, you can go to Twitch and subscribe. It costs you nothing, and you are supporting the channel to the tune of, I think, $2.50, maybe? Yeah, maybe it's less. Half. Yeah, I actually two, don't two know. Two and a half. Per, I, uh, I've never, Prime Twitch stuff. have never paid anything out yet, so I don't actually know. I, I, I can't work out where the page is that tells me these things. I find that I, I'm still uh, Twitch is scary so, and confusing. There's too many bright I found colored I had buttons. A Prime sub. I, I found out I had a Prime sub because I, I subscribed to Prime to see Invincible and uh, The Boys. Oh yeah, that's and what I've been watching. I have Prime for that as well. Yeah, it's a fairly cheap uh, streaming service. So like, can I actually use Prime on Twitch as well? Hey, and saving me, I, I get a free sub every month. It makes my Prime bill practically nothing compared to what I was uh, subbing to before. And oh, I just found Monica button. just showed us how, how I... to subscribe with Prime. I wanna ah wants to... it won't let me edit the sub goal. This isn't fair. We hit the number. I don't get it. Why can't you edit it? I don't get. I, I it's letting me highlight it, but it won't let me delete the current sub goal. I what? Oh, I have to end it. Oh, okay. And now, <laughs> now okay, now, now we hit a new goal. And Here you we achieve go. your follower goal, I see. Oh, we had the follower goal. I had a follower goal. Yeah. Where do I see that? Yeah, apparently. Is that is that what Twitch is saying? Does it Twitch? Awesome. It's like it's like uh, you know uh, subscribing on YouTube is similar to following on Twitch. Oh my god! Have you seen? Yeah, they, well, what, sorry, Woodman's here has two point three k of tier two armored. Unfortunately, mass drivers, which is a bit of a shame. But tier two armored Corvettes. Yeah. This could really yeah, do with some so ship design. He really He's got blue lasers. He's his... got blue lasers. Oh, he's not using them. He's not using them. That would go easily up to 2.6k if he just swapped the blue lasers over. Oh. I'm looking at Nagi's uh, research right now. He, he does have a fleet academy, which is nice, and he does have both blue lasers and green combat computers. Like, if he start making ships, he should be stronger. Oh, 50k in terms of... Oh, uh, sorry. 50 alloys per month and a lot of alloys. Oh, goodness. We're getting more Twitch Prime subs. And um... Oh, the hype train has succeeded. I don't understand what a hype. What's a hype train, Twitch? It's whoop whoop, whoop all aboard. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, 
Um, anyway, so good alloy production here at year 15. It could be uh, better. It looks like, by the way, Naki's going for missiles. He has some level 3 missiles right now. And he has improved strike craft, meaning if he wants to set up a defensive point at some point. Oh. Like, that, that's going to be very hard for... Uh, so Nagi's still leaving through. on auto, and the auto has put one blue laser, one red laser, a missile, and two shields. I'm just... This is disgusting. And it's a tier 2 missile when it's, he has tier 3. It's oh. one of the things I never understood. Like, why why is the, the auto design that's so bad? I'm assuming the reason why it's doing it is because it doesn't have power for all the weapons, and it... They should be able to make a better auto ship designer. Oh, and uh, the chat is saying choo choo on Twitch. They are because we hit that hype train. Choo choo. choo. Uh, if you're on YouTube and you <laughs> want to see a hype train, what a hype train looks like, go to Twitch. It looks exactly the same as your current view, but I assume there's something train related. If you're a fan of locomotivism, then, uh, then you'll trains, definitely be interested yeah. in, in it. I like trains. Nyong. Sorry, that's oh, an ASTF that reference. I, I, I'm, I'm yeah, old, I, I love Tom Scar as well. No, no, I mean, we're both old enough to enjoy Tumscar oh. stuff, so. Nagy's but, uh, really trains, outproducing on uh, research here. 300 research a month. You wouldn't happen to be making a train-related um, timeline series soon, would you? Well, yes, actually. It's funny you mention that. Timeline <laughs> Season 5 is starting oh, two weeks today. There's, uh, we still need to, we, there are still, if you go to the Discord, links to the Discord are currently, um, uh, I'll put a link up. You go to Montu Place HQ, follow the yeah. link to the Discord community. Yeah, yeah MontuPlace.com and then oh, you yeah. can join the Discord. MontuPlace.com, go to the link, Discord community. Anyway, you'll see in there the current revised timetable. It'll get published soon, starting in two weeks. Um, we still need to put out some of the, the catch-up episodes for previous seasons, we're going to be doing something a little interesting with this one. Season 4 and Season 5 are going to come. Season 5, we're not going to have an interim season between 4 and 5. We're also possibly going to be doing something interesting with an uh, with the iFi event um, continuing into Season 5, which sounds a bit odd, given that usually we start and stop a timeline between seasons. But um, yeah, we'll Dude, also be seeing the return of a second. fan favorite character. Yes, what we're looking at. For the people who don't know what an iFi is, do you want to? Oh, sorry, interactive fiction them. event. It's basically uh, like a RP event that happens in the Discord. Um, this time yeah. we're going to be having a council, uh, not a senate, a council because it's Greek, um, not Roman, and uh, and we'll be proposing laws. There'll be things going on. Uh, you'll be this time. You'll be keeping the same character throughout, so uh, it should be good. I'm also meant to wait yeah. two weeks, but after after when that starts as well. I'm going to be doing regular streaming um, from the beginning of Timeline Season 4 on the Saturday. I'll be streaming Tuesdays and Thursdays, evening European time, that's morning US time, on Twitch and YouTube uh, weekly for some time. Ooh, guess who's moving out, by the way? Of what? Those mining droids oh, won't know what hit them. David's got enough power now, but if David put the lasers on, he's coming up against mining droids, yep. which are full of armor. And he's not designing his ships, and he's got tier two lasers. I, ah, oh, I need a beer. So again, for people, I need for, a beer. for people trying to learn the game, stuff like this is a huge difference. Getting the right weapons on your ships makes the early game so much easier. I, I think you said like if you put blue lasers on those, three k fleet power would go to four or five k, right? I guess Muncho left for a beer. No, no, I didn't leave yet. I'm thinking. <laughs> I'm thinking. No, I'm thinking. Say the question again. Like, if you put on the right weapons, those ship numbers would explode to like four, four and no, a half. No, not four, probably, but probably right? like three point five, something like that. I'd say. And having a single missile is also never a good thing. Yeah, why? The main strength of missile is going through shields, and he has two weapons on it that Ugh. leaves the shields I mean, for him. What could be a reasonable design if it was double missile, one kinetic? But then it's better to just run the lasers, no, I, honestly. I, 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 no, it would be yeah. a better design than what he's currently running is one kinetic, two lasers. But actually, if you, sorry, one kinetic, two missile. But if you're going to run two missile, just drop just drop the kinetic and run three. Like, you don't need to shoot the shield. Just, just use the missiles. I... Uh, I was asking if this is going to be posted on timelines. Yes, it's all going to be posted on the timelines channel. Um, don't worry. 
And what we're probably going to end up having is the catch-up episodes will be probably... The catch-up episodes on season two and a half, three and a half, and three will be coming out in the next couple of weeks and throughout season You're four. You're missing the battle, Manchu. Oh, sorry. So look at this. Look I at this do. output. 50% efficiency on those kinetics. He might not even yeah. win because of the kinetics. No, he's winning. No, he is going to win. Good. I think, Good. yeah, he'll eke out a victory, but... He's really hampering himself here. Yeah, like he's losing ships for absolutely no reason here. How many ships? He's currently lost six, seven ships there, gone. For nothing. Yeah. And the worst bit is, once he beats through this machine stack, he doesn't know it, but he's got another stack to, to, to grind through. Yeah. I if suppose the only saving grace here, them, yeah. ironically, is that Nagi's ships are all heavily shielded. So, um... Yeah. <laughs> Maybe it's not that bad. If both of them make unfortunate builds, then hey, nice. That being said, like if Nagi get, gets double blue laser going, it's gonna rip through armor armor ships. You know, a good point being made by um by uh by Ragoon. If at this stage Woodman C gets those cutting lasers, sends a science ship for the yeah. cutting lasers, which which he's doing. The auto designer will probably put them on the ships because at this point they're going to be very powerful. That would actually yeah. be a very, very strong design. So cutting lasers are similar to plasma, right? In the, the output. Yes. Yeah. Very they're similar a to plasma. Worse than they're plasma like a, one, if I recall correctly. Yeah. Uh, they're they're basically a tier three equivalent, roughly. So they're very okay. very close to plasma one, which is a tier three equivalent. Yeah. Our plasma one is only tier two, I think just has the blue laser as a prerequisite. Oh, am I wrong? Say again. I, I think Plasma 1 is a Tier 2 tech, isn't it? Sorry, I mean, but Plasma 1 is equivalent to a Tier 3 laser. Ah, okay. Uh, is, yeah. Sorry, I, I'm comparing to, like, so Plasma 1 is equivalent to yeah. T3 laser, Plasma 2, Tier 4, Plasma 3, Tier 5. Yeah. Is, is, okay. is, good, good. So you need to research level 2 laser, then you can research level 3 laser or level 1 Plasma. Yeah, correct. So it's a, it's a tier three weapon would be how I would describe it. So somebody in chat's asking how we know about the what the mining drones are. Well, first off, if you look at this, uh, actually, if I go to if I go to Nagi's, oh, Nagi can't see it. No one can see it, right? If you look at them, you'll see they have no shields. First off, if you look at their health bar here, you'll see no shield, which is a dead giveaway that they don't have shields. First off, can I say if you if you select the the fleet, you can hover over the ships in it to see exactly what it has. Yeah, like Montu is doing right now. But this is only from. I'm not sure this is always available if, as a non-observer. It is, isn't it? Uh, it is. If you can click on the fleet, you can see the stats you're seeing right now. Yes. Okay. You can always hover over the part you're hovering over right now and see. But usually um, you can't do this next things. bit. And uh, and and Stellaris says, "Hate this one trick." Boom. So mining drones have these cutting lasers. Which are so? Look at this output: four point seven two with minus fifty percent shield, but plus fifty percent hull and armor. These things are devastating. In the medium version, seven point five. You want the small ones? Three of the small ones are better. Yeah. Um, and only armor, level one armor. So it's just armor and hull, and quite a lot of it. That's that's how they and are. Especially if you combine them with the flak that we talked about earlier, then you're going to get a ship that will tear through any early game ship. Yeah. Like two cutting lasers and a flak before year 20 is very strong. So David has brought his fleet back for repairs, it looks like? Yes. And has another million well on the way. And he's setting up a forward uh, star base. Yeah, is that one going to be a defensive point. one? I think uh, actually, I think, so. I think so in my opinion, you don't want the um I'm really used to board game uh, to board game simulator. I just tried to ping the oh, I did it again. I, did it. <laughs> I tried to ping Anahita and I realized it's not the right key command. I've been playing uh, board games on board game simulator too much. So this system here, Anahita, is I think too close to the problem. I would actually put it on Irav or Iam, the the defensive starbase. You could still have a starbase here. I'd build a starbase here and instead I'd probably put a uh, where is it? Where is it? Uh, not communications. Oh, he hasn't got it yet. The sensor, sensor, sensor link to get more sensors. Putting it on EM means that if your fleets are in the capital, they have enough time to get to and defend your fortress system 
Whereas at Anahita here, it's too far away from the capital for him to reinforce in enough time once he sees the enemy coming in. I mean, if they come from the east, which they won't, but if they were to come from the east, that's only two jumps. He'd see them when they're basically yeah, I, two jumps away. I agree with him having a, uh, a shipyard right behind his defensive Oh, base, no, absolutely. But I think it should yeah. go defense, shipyard, sensor. Maybe. I gotta admit, I don't use the sensor that often, but may maybe I should. Well, if if you get if in the, in this kind of setup, mostly it's useless, right? Because if yeah. you're in a lot of PvP, the enemy will be on your border for a while, and then suddenly they'll declare war. Having a sensor doesn't matter because you know they're next to you the whole time. But in this kind of situation where it's like, okay, if I can get an extra three or four months of early warning that there's a fleet coming in, that's enough time for me to build two or three defense platforms and move my fleets up to the right location. Whereas if I only get 30 or 60 days, this one star base, no matter how many defenses he put on, will not be enough to outfight whatever Nagi brings in. Having said that, though, Nagi has If you're no looking fleets. at Nagi's tech, yeah, but I think it's because you're waiting for time. He's researching swarmer missiles oh, and he has Jesus. destroyer tech. Oh, jeez. So basically, David had the has the advantage. If he attacks now, yeah. rather than waiting, he could break through and win. Yeah. He, he really needs to update his ship design and update his fleet and then go. Because then he'll tear through the second uh, mining drones. Yeah. And he can go straight into Dr. Nagi. He, he is losing his timing. I would say, um, unless Nagi for some reason doesn't build up, like gets too greedy. He, like he has, he has five years at most. And Nagi has uh, his Orville system with a double uh, hanger in it. Going to be... Uh, it's not going to be hard to push through yet, but very soon. Like, if that base gets upgraded, Wait a he's minute. not going to push Nagi through. Nagi is actively that. building ships, and he's deciding to put four antimatter missiles when he could have a medium back slot. Ah, because he's going double afterburner for an artillery combat computer. Mm -hmm. That... And I'm, I'm thinking he's going to swap the... I, th I think he hasn't finished... Oh, he has finished swarmers, but he, yes. So he, it's not he's fast definitely going to swap that out. It's not fast enough. The, the Corvettes. Won't run Corvettes. Dave, no, David Woodman's his Corvettes it's are faster. Gonna it's still going to shred Corvettes. So that that oh, yeah. going to shred. The Swarmer yeah. Missile. Yeah. yeah, the Swarmer Missile. Yeah, oh, yeah, absolutely. If he has enough of them. Problem is, that they said, cost like, 300 uh, apiece. How many is he building yeah. right now? And again, uh, DJ... Uh, sorry, not DJ. David, if he swapped out to the build with double blue laser and um, a PD instead of a flak, he would probably be that Ah, build? the PD's not... It's tier 1 PD. It won't help against the Swarmers. No. No, but tier, tier 1 PD on Corvettes is still quite strong because you get so many of them. The slot efficiency is very high. You only lose one small slot for a PD slot. Oh, it's such a shame. That, that being said, of course, blue lasers will lose to those shields. Tier 1 weaponry here, and... and The main issue is not not unclicking auto-generate designs. This! This is something yeah. I... The, when people don't unclick this, like, I just think for yourself, sheeple. Think for yourself. <laughs> right, um, should I get a beer chat or not? Is it is that is now the time? As much you earned a beer yet, chat. I have earned a beer. And we're now two sub two subs on Twitch away from our sub goal of of getting to 150. Drunk Paladin says beer time. I I don't I don't think I can trust someone whose name is Drunk Paladin. Or Drunk Pally even. Sorry, not necessarily Paladin. Do do you think they might be biased? I think they might be biased. Yeah, yeah, that's definitely some bias. What's YouTube saying? Beer's saying yeah, sorry, beer not oh, sorry. Um well, Do Dominic wants you to get a good <laughs> brand though. No, a good no brand. Stuff, I no think I've got I've yeah. got Bira Moretti and um, Amstel in the fridge at the moment. I still have some of the beer you gave me. But yeah, like, but you, I, I found out you don't even like beer, and I'm offended on beer's behalf. I I don't mind beer. I just don't drink it. For like oh whoa! Nataru just blew our sub goal out of the water again. Thank you very much. That's five gifted subs to uh, welcome new members. I need to set up. I haven't done this yet because I haven't figured it out. I tried to figure it out, but I couldn't figure it. People who are subscribers on Twitch getting the equivalent role, which would be researcher or priest or whatever it is, on the Discord. Um, I do need to figure uh, that out. We'll get, we'll get that set up. Yes, that, should, that will get set I'm up pretty sure that's the next week doable. or so. Before I yeah, end up it, streaming live all the time. Yeah, so anyone who just got gifted a sub, within the next couple of weeks, you should 
get a special role on Munch's Discord. Mm. We have a supporter section where we try to do a little bit extra for the people who support him. And yeah, currently there's all the YouTube well, supporters. Our players, players today are two supporters. There. Would have been seeing Dr. Nagy are two, yeah. of our, uh, two of our supporters. Yeah, like the if Emperor you watch and, any his event, and one of his custodians themselves. Yeah, if you, if you watch any event where like regular people get to play with Manchu, that is by supporting him. These are the high tier supporters, so they get to some a little, a little bit of special love. But all supporters do have a chance of joining stuff like the interim seasons of timelines. Yes, yeah, yeah. The uh, so for instance, three point five that we had recently on, which uh, a lot of people yeah. didn't like Marcus the fact that the bad that. guys, uh, the bad guys were, were were bad and won with with ease and, and effortlessness. Um, but don't worry, it'll all become clear in the greater picture why that happened. Um, and we've taken yeah, on board it... some of the comments made, uh, you know, because some of the comments made, some of the comments made were, I think, very unreasonable. Others were, I think, very fair. Um, overall, I think it's very unreasonable for people to blame DJ for, for basically doing what I'd asked him to do. Oh, um, I, I think I think the disconnect was pretty much... And for the people here who watched Timelines and were a little bit surprised of how mean DJ was in the last series, he was, it was planned from the beginning. And, uh, yeah, yeah, and, and he the was players RPing. knew it. Yes. All the players were told before the series started they were going to die. Now, boy, I didn't, oh boy, I didn't did want die. to tell the viewers because I thought it would spoil the experience. But it turns out the good guys being raffle stomped is just depressing for some people and they really didn't like it. And it's honestly, battle. it's a learning. It's a learning. David is cutting through the second mines now. Yes, but what Anne has won, but only with 3k, and has not brought the and rest of the Nag fleet up. The rest of David's Nagi's fleet is just sat at up. home. No! And Nagi's got enough ships, and those ships are better. Much, a lot much better. better. They're a fewer in number, but better. Having said that, Nagi hasn't completed his supremacy. Has David, and this is going to be an important point now. Yes. Has David has changed over his policy? Still on rapid no, deployment. He's still on rapid, well, having yeah. said that, that's actually going to help in this case, possibly, because his ships are now it, fast it enough. It will make it hard as a kite. Two twenty-five, yeah. whereas Nagi's ships are those destroyers are one six eight. Yeah, no way they're kiting. No way they're kiting. Absolutely not. But they should just have more firepower. I see Morgan on Twitch saying that he, 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 I think if I read correct, like he also missed just DJ and then he went back and watched the other timelines and then he understood it was all part of the plan. Sorry, I read it's all part of the plan from Canadian Slaughter um, <laughs> at the same time as I you said out loud in my you, head. Uh... And, and what was really weird is my inner voice suddenly merged with your voice and I really didn't like that. That was not I pleasant. am Canadian slaughter. <laughs> no, no, it's in my inner monologue voice. You said oh. it at the same time as my. I read it in my head. When you read, do you just do you say the words I, to yourself out loud in your head? Uh, I don't think I do it as much in Danish as I do in English. Um, that would make sense because English is a second language for you, I suppose. Yeah. But Manchu, I am just a voice in your head. I'm not real. But everyone at home can hear you, right? It, it, it... No, no, Chad, you can't hear me, right? It's just Munchers talking with very long breaks in between. We both went quiet on that bombshell. I need a beer. I'm, I'm <laughs> reluctant to go right now, though, because... Oh, no, right, they're not moving yet. I'll have my headphones they're, they're, yeah, on. This is like... If somebody moves... You know what I'll do? You know what I'll do? You know what I'll do? I'm gonna set follow. I'm gonna set as follow on uh, on uh, on one of Doctor Nagy's Nagy's fleets, fleets here, and then I'll just AFK for a moment while I get that beer. A beer to calm the voices in my head. Uh, Bernard saying, "Am I going crazy?" No, I'm not crazy. Actually, it's the other three in here. Morgan says, "Montu's the only voice I hear ever." Morgan, yeah, th th there is no stream, Morgan. The whole th this whole thing's just happening in your head. There's no, there's no Twitter. Twitch doesn't actually exist, you know. This is all just a figment of your long imagination. And finally, it's time to accept that. <clears throat> Enjoy. Seth is making a good point. I am in everyone's minds. My role on the Discord is a telepath, so that would make sense. Ooh, David is setting up an advanced choke point. Wondering if he's going to have time to build up a proper base there, because I think he will need it. 
So the, the battle we're about to see, guys, is the difference between a, an alloy rush that misses the timing and a tech rush. So Nagi has been tech rushing with about 400 technology per month. David has been stuck on 100. So the longer the game goes, the better this is going to be for Nagi. We're also seeing, because he's playing clones, he has about tw uh, not quite 15 pops more than, uh, than uh, David. Those pops start to matter. This is why the, the build-up I was talking about oh, earlier, about sake. buying those extra minerals. Yeah? I just came all the way back upstairs and I realized I left the beer. I brought, I got a beer and a glass out, and then I, I, I put the beer down on the bench when I got the glass out. And I, I've come up and I've only you got the glass, the glass. Just the glass. And I, then I, I looked at my glass and went, wait a minute. Hold up. I'll, I'll be right back. Just I, give me a second. I'm going to save this clip for when the players have to choose their coach in a moment, won't you? So, uh, Twitch people, why Munchu's gone, let's get some good tips on what Munchu can do better on Twitch. He's still very new on the platform, and I know he wants to keep streaming there. So, what do you guys want Munchu to do more of on your channel? Like, have you tried out his new emotes and stuff? Is that is that what you want? Morgan, yeah, who's Munchu? Ursula, you want Munchu to have more alcoholism? That makes sense. Drunk Munchu is very funny. More alcoholism. Uh, just to go... Somebody give that person a medal. Right now. Oh, <laughs> we're all here so that I can drink myself into an early grave. Oh, an early grave of deliciousness. A gravy train, if you will. Mm. Other so thing to note as well, Jen, that we've not talked about. The time in the series with, Clone with Ascendant Munchu. Admirals. Clone Ascendant oh, Admirals. Has he, has he ascended? Yep. Oh, He's that's ascended so year 23. dirty. He said, well, I mean, no, it's not early. That's no, not early, it's though. it's still dirty. It's oh, sorry, dirty. I thought you said early. Sorry. Yes, it is very dirty. Dirty, dirty boy. Um, he did say he didn't want to play a meta build when I asked him, and then he's doing this. The thing is, it's... it's, it's I mean, it's year 25, and he's got 5k. Woodman's he actually has 7. Plus, if if they go on the defensive, Woodman's he's starbase defense might actually, actually hold yeah, the line. And and the Ultron Sun has put one small cutting mace on his ships now, so they're not as bad. Oh, so Morgan's saying that they would love to see me do more, uh, uh, do just playthroughs. So my plan is to do Stellaris Thursdays, where I basically, for the first few weeks, I'm just going to play through a campaign, do three or four hours a week of the same campaign, stream Twitch and YouTube, and it's just going to be relaxing, chilling, playing playing for not too long and not too stressfully. The main issue I find when I stream is that I try and do an entire campaign in one 6, 8, 10, 12 hour sitting, which is honestly very exhausting, especially without breaks. Um, so so, so instead I'm going to space it out and then I'll probably have Variety Tuesdays. So on Tuesdays, maybe I'll play EU4, maybe I'll play Hearts of Iron, maybe I'll play Digimon World from 1999 because it's the best um, training game ever. And it's fantastic, and I want to learn to speedrun it. Um, but you still haven't done the Stellaris speedrun I told you to do. Yes, that's because I hate. You to to be fair, to be fair, that's that's only because I have been religiously watching Digimon World speedruns for the last three weeks. Like I don't know why, but it's what I put on in the background because what, I found it very relaxing. Great. I've been watching a lot of um, Factorio speedrunning. Also, Digimon World was like a game I had when I was like ten. So, oh, I'm giving away my age a bit too much here. Um, but it was like one of my favorite games when I was younger. And the 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 the, the, the music, the background, all of the little noises in it, the, the sound design, it just takes me back to being a kid again. Honestly, it's um, wow. Yeah. Oh, l last year I had a phase where I watched um, Pokemon uh, Iron Man. I don't know if you ever watched that stuff. Not into Pokemon. I'm a Digimon. Uh, I, yeah. uh, sorry, I grew up in Australia. We did Digimon. We didn't do. We did Digimon and we did Dragon Ball Z. People were like Peh, Pokemon, meh, or at least amongst my community in Sydney. Did you also do the the spinny? Uh, the what, what's it called? The blade. Uh... Beyblade? No, Wait, God no. Beyblade. They did that in the UK. When we moved to the UK, when I was a bit older, kids were doing that. Um, I was bit, I was I, I was too old for it by then. I think. Beyblades were pretty cool. I mean, I was probably sure what else I didn't have the choice, but like, 
you know, you fighting what, with you your see what choice. Bernard just super chatted with the comment. Monta will stream. I'm, I'm going to say this without. I'm going to attempt really hard to just read it and not put the, the not put the intonation in. Montu will stream Stellaris just chilling out, Maxin relaxing, all cool, just shooting some Xenos outside of the pool. Um, until I assume a couple of guys who are up to no good might start causing trouble in my local galactic neighborhood. But this sounds like something that would happen to you. Oh my god, a Dragon Ball Z Stellaris mod? Alpha, yes. If you find it, I would love to do an MP camp multiplayer campaign together of that. Dragon Ball Z Stellaris, I would be on board. I don't rem to be fair, I don't remember it. I haven't wa re watched Dragon Ball Z since 2001, I think, or 2000, and 2000 maybe. So Yeah, but I'm guessing one, one of the reasons why you want to tr stream some more is also to be able to do stuff like maybe a bit of modded content. Mm. It's one yeah, of the things well, it, you it, haven't really been able that, to fit into your channel. Yeah, exactly. Also, it's it's it's. I, I don't want to do too big a commitment, so just three or four hours, two days a week committed to, with possible Saturdays or Sundays, depending on what you know what happens. Um, oh, look at these worlds. So look at look at look at David's worlds. Right, he's overbuilding districts. He has fifteen available jobs. Oh no, ignore me. What's happened is he's had the subterraneans. No, yes, but he didn't yeah. kill them. Okay. Oh. Ah, oh, but he still must have built up the districts, though. Yeah, he, I, yeah. Sorry, he built these districts yeah. up for. He's got colon it. Oh, why? Why? It's, it's one of the main reasons why he's over a hundred empire size. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. And it's not necessary. Having said that, empire size from district is so minimal. I, I don't even worry about it. It's, you get point naught five. He's found Halito. Shut up. <laughs> Need to talk about his god spawn earlier, where he also found Halito. Oh I yeah, I don't know how did, much it yeah. will matter here because again, this game should be over fairly. How long have we been going? We've been going we about said, an hour. We set a two-hour time limit. Yeah, we've been going for about an hour. So I mean, David is still keeping ahead in fleet numbers, but I yes. don't think his fleet said, oh, I is think, be I there, think that I think Nagi's going to go on the offensive because I think he's going to feel a bit more secure. I'm surprised yeah. they're not meeting each other. Oh, they just, it's just so difficult. Oh, by the way, uh, David upgraded his ship designs. No. He's got two level three lasers and oh, a missile. This so is the auto. Really the auto wrong, does, but... Sorry, you said David. How dare you? Still the auto. game oh, auto God. updated it. Oh, that's so dumb. Just that one new clip. I don't know why the AI puts an missile together so because everyone the... knows you don't bring a knife you you, you, you uh, what is it you don't bring a knife to a nuke fight what's the what's the thing uh don't bring a gun to a nuke fight i can't remember yeah, yeah. i don't know it's just it makes me sad Montu. one of those things where i feel like but because both new players are going to suffer because of this but also the ai like it makes it easier to beat the ai because why 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 like <sighs> Why can't the AI build proper ships? Same reason why I never use mercenaries, because the oh, mercenaries are just going to make a... Chad is saying, yeah. knife to a gunfight. I hear you, I hear you. But I'm thinking yeah, more yeah. about the star, the, the uh, Starship Trooper scene with the, you know, you know, don't bring a knife to a nuke fight because you'll win if you've got a yeah. knife because uh, an enemy cannot press a button if you disable his hand. Exactly. Starship Troopers is a great movie, which, of course, will, you know ages a little bit by I, I don't know how many people like how many younger people here have watched Star Trek Proofers and enjoyed it. It's a cult it. film. Like I think this. a lot of people have. It's fantastic. Yeah. The, the best bit is when it came out a lot of people didn't realize it was satire, which I I mean I was, <laughs> I was I was I was I was I was too young. I didn't watch it when it came out. When it came out 97, 99. What's her face was still like a good-looking woman at that point. Um she hadn't uh I don't know. Watch suddenly... her face. The the woman who plays That's... the the uh, the the the, uh, the 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 girl who's an awful human being and's like, I love you as a boyfriend, but the ad the navy is just for me. And bye bye. It's yeah. It's oh. Oh, oh. yeah. Her. She's Denise Richards. Yeah. Before her face melted and she got like a thousand years of plastic surgery and stuff. I don't know. Oh, I, I have to go I, too I into did it. I don't but... know that. Have you seen Denise Richards in the last like I don't know what happened around the year two thousand something? She changed. I don't know. She changed. Oof. Oof. Terrifying. Oh, wow. Have you just Googled it? it? 
Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I oh, don't know what happened. That's unfortunate. But she went from a, a you know, a, why are we talking about Denise Richards? Anyway, moving on. Starship Troopers. Good, good movie. Hmm. Oh, and, uh, no, he's got veterans. Of on it. Go to veterans? So he's got a veterans class strategist rather than actually making an admiral. I don't actually think we're going to play long enough for having a strategist to mean anything in this, this game. At level, he can recruit leaders at level three or no, not still level one. Yeah, no level two I admirals. Think but but he really should have. He really should have taken the admiral trait on his minister of defense, and therefore like yeah, one the extra fleets. bonus trait on one of his fleets would have been much better than minus five percent ship build cost that he might get in a minute. Yeah. They they feel a little. I mean. I guess they're just waiting for their first contract to go through, and it is difficulty 9, so it's going to take a while. But they are getting there with the breakthrough chances. Oh, oh, is that, no, is that Nagi moving? Oh, no, 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 Nagi just allowed, Nagi just allowed. Na Nagi's moving back to, uh, Yeah, but, but, but Nagi just allowed David's science ship to look, fly in and say hello. It didn't even try and fight it. What are their policies on? David is moving out now. He's upgraded all his corvettes to level 3 lasers now. Again, the design is not great, but it's a lot better than what it was. Sw swapping out that nuclear missile with a flag, and I actually think David had a decent chance of winning the fight. Or a PD, sorry. PD or flag, both would work, honestly. I think... The, the, yeah, PD the, the, the lasers best, against level 3 shields is going to be rough. If it, if it wasn't because Dave, uh, Nagi was going straight into shields... Uh, David Nagi's speed has attack. gone up dramatically with the inclusion of ion thrusters. I think he might now be faster. Yeah, the double afterburner thrusters is really big. Yeah, he's now faster. So we might actually see kiting from Nagi. And he has also had a chance to finish supremacy, meaning he's also on rapid deployment now. Saxon217 says, I would love to see an update to your civic traditions... Traits, Ascension Perks tier list, any plans for that? Yes. The issue in December has been that I got hit uh, I got hit with triple sickness. Um, we had COVID, flu, and norovirus over Christmas, uh, over the over that month-long period. Um, and uh, and I've just basically come out the other end of that. Uh, either I was sick or other other, other people uh, in, in the house were sick for for, for a while. So uh, it's been pretty pretty rough going there. Um, Manchu, would you say you were down with the sickness? No. <laughs> okay. Okay. Sorry. I would I'm not say that. The what I'd say is get out. Puns. Get out. Get out with those sick puns, okay? Ahem. Oh, we've got an upgraded design from Nagi. What's he upgrading into? Tier 4 missiles. Quantum missiles. This is actually, I mean, these aren't terrible yeah. designs at year 30. I it's honestly. very good tech. Yeah. The just, level of the. Oh, my Stellaris just crashed. That's delightful. Oh, we'll, we'll just... Re have you got a... You'll have an auto save from, from a few minutes ago. Yeah, I'll, I'll go down to players. Let me know. Let them know. Morgan HD. The words Overlord Daddy Montuwu are entirely banned, I'll have you know, and won't be repeated in this this hallowed theatre of deathmatchery, okay? Um, how, how very dareth you. And that, that doesn't, that's not an invitation for anyone else posted as well, because I will hand you in the band hammer and we'll get going. <clears throat> I've got a ping. What was the ping from? So, I'll be rehosting the game and the players just. They're taking a quick two minute bio break. Yeah, while. no, that's fine. I, I just actually messaged David to say, yeah, do it. Do it. Take the bio yeah. break. The, the, the current patch is a little unstable. Is it? And uh, stuff like this will happen. Have you noticed that somehow? Have you? Is it, Would you not say yeah. Stellaris is at his best ever? Would that not be a so, thing you would say? When, when, when we had the last tournament and I had to go through the save games. I had 29 hot joint save games from that. No, yeah, six so that means session. there were 29 crashes and/or rehosts. 
correct in a six hour <laughs> session. We've never had it's, the multiplayer. Ba- ever the multiplayer has never been this. The multiplayer ability has never been this bad. But you know, I'm sure it has nothing. To, yeah, no, no comment. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna get into it at all. You can't tempt me. I've only had one beer. Yeah. I mean, I know the devs are looking into it, and I do appreciate that. Like, they, they are also offering, um, like, we can send them their crash, uh, the save, uh, the files when we crash. Like they are trying their very best. But boy, does it feel uphill sometimes. Have you got the thing up? Should I um, switch, switch across? Just give me a second. Uh, they, again, they, they need a few minutes. I'll just post it and see when they try to hurt you. I think you have a minute or two more. No, I, I, it's all right. I came, I, I'll put the background on and I will. Did you post the links? No, you didn't. Oh. I'll just get my request in. This one first. Yeah. And uh, remember to not share the password on stream. Uh, I know no you only can done see it my once. Screen. I did it once and no one will ever let me forget it. It's it's diabolical. Oh, for sure. Never. This is your life now, Munchu. You are the guy who leaked the password once. You Ooh, are the hunter. Potato got the Muntu medal. There's also, I think, I, my favorite emote that they're on Twitch now is um is uh, Jeff Palpatine shaking. Every, you know, it's like Jeff Palpatine power. <laughs> yeah. Kind of how I, that sounds. That 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 emote has a noise to me. Um, I, I like the lightsabers. So I see Naki. I don't see you yet, Munchu. Oh, uh, it says waiting for the hosting player to accept. It's not on the. Um, this is. It doesn't say I just requesting hot join. It says waiting for hosting player to accept. Yeah, I don't see you. I only see. I'll Dr. do it again Maggie. then. But that's very odd. Usually, it doesn't say that unless it's actually yeah. had my request go through. We'll have to try it again then, won't we? Whoops. Connecting, requesting, hot yeah, join, waiting for the host to accept. Oh. Yeah, I see you now. Oh. I'll just go check on Woodman. I'll be right back. Montuoki, are we doing some of that? No, no Montu karaoke. Not until he's properly drunk. Hey, we, we've never done proper Montu karaoke. I'm a, I'm a dab hand at karaoke, I'll have you know. As long as it's a song that I already know. Otherwise, no, no, no. If I type my password in chat... um. Let's oh, well, let me check that out. Oh, it didn't it didn't auto filter it. What do you mean? What do you mean, Slurker? I mean, there's a few issues. That first, you don't know the game name. Second, I'm not going to type my actual password in the chat. Obviously, what I would do is I might accidentally read it out, which I've done before. I like to have passwords like no password or um, good question, ask another, or, you know, anything along those lines. It's just great. Yes, a Montu medal will be awarded to um, to the winner of the Noob Deathmatch. That is what they're fighting for. A prestigious Montu uh, medal. Right, we're back in game. Welcome to Lobby Simulator 8000. Ugh, we've only got we've only got two players and a host. This is diabolical. You gonna unpause Jern? Is Jern here? And I'm back. All oh, right, you are here. Good. As you say, you're gonna unpause. You did unpause. Cool. And away we go. A chocolate coin, Ursula. No, that's not a chocolate and, coin. It's a medal, oh my God, a gold my medal. Instantly crashed again. You did. Yeah, my client just poof disappeared. Uh, uh, should I send you the save game and you try to host? Uh, yeah, go on, we'll do that. I'll, I'll give it a go. I'll just go tell the player. I'm going to um. I'm just going to briefly, I'm going to reload my game.
Got it. Right, let's go to our documents. Paradox Interactive, so, Stellaris, I have save game. You now. Pardon? I think I've sent you the save now. In a DM. I've got no idea of the, the number string after... Um, after... Uh, after the save files is actually important, but I've always put it in there just in case it is. What number string is that? If you go into the save games, the there's yeah. a name and then there's a number, uh, a string, yeah, that a string of numbers. Are you sure? Yes, you can make oh. any folder call it anything, Didn't and then that. I feel uh, a bit silly now. I've been I've been adding all those it. number strings over and over because I thought it might be important, and I I've never actually bothered testing it. I've gone well, it worked. Basically, I cargo <laughs> cultured my way through it, and the cargo culture was perfect. And shush. If it works, it works, you know. So while we're doing the the lobby simulator that everyone loves, let's uh, get some questions from the the audience. Morgan what, HD what like says, "Montu, would you tell us a story of your favorite Stellaris memory?" Um, let me just think back on my. How many hours? It's going to be played? a lot of memories to go through. Ah, uh, no, that's the problem. It all like. A lot of those memories are lost to time these days. I can't lie. I'm just going to think back so, on my 6,000 hours of Stellaris. Um, I have one that stands out if people want to hear it. Do you, you know the, the event you can get where you get abandoned terraforming equipment on a planet? Yeah. So we were doing a multiplayer crisis game where I think we we're going for a 10x or 25x crisis, year 75. And the crisis was about to spawn. And all of a sudden, one of the other players say, what just happened to my Cominopolis? And that's because she had been building up in the Cominopolis oh, yeah. for the last 50 years. Yeah, I remember and that. then she'd gone through her uh, her event log and said, oh, abandoned terraforming equipment. I'll just click that one. And apparently, abandoned terraforming equipment can change a, a Cominopolis into a Gaia world. Yes, it can. So right before the crisis spawned, she went from 2,000 alloys per month to minus 200 alloys per month. That is one of my favorite moments of Stellaris. Such a unique niche mechanic just coming in and messing you up. I'm guessing Manchu has more traumatic multiplayer uh, memories uh, compared to um, mine. I, no, actually, I think my favorite, my favorite, uh, my favorite, um, my favorite memory, actually, it's from years ago. I was playing on Legends United. This would have been... Yeah. Three years ago, it would have been like two point, two point seven. I want to say, two point seven, two point six, something like that. Um, yeah. And I was playing with a Ringworld Ringworld Rogue servitors, and I'd been forced to pay tribute to a neighbor. The neighbor came in, and I'd built up defensive platforms to stop them, and I just had not succeeded in fending them off. Um, and they they tributized me. And then I managed to revamp my economy to the point where even while paying tribute, because I just went full econ, even while paying tribute, I had a bigger economy than them. And then I finally built up the forces and I fought them back and I actually got freedom. And I was like, oh, I, I, that was Best that was my ever. proudest moment. Yeah, exactly. Um, at the time. Are you seeing all the players at the moment? I have I... them all now. No, no, I now have them. Perfect. And I'm getting the save, so it should be okay. Oh, favorite moments as well. The Grievous, no, actually, that was really good fun. So when I was playing as the Trade Federation in the Entropy multiplayer, and they declared war on us, and we were like, if you do that, we'll crack your planet, your home world. And they're like, you can't do it. And then I was cajoling my my alliance, and we managed to do it together as a group and jump on the mule's capital and crack it and then jump out again. Oh, and that, like, that one was great. I, I watched that live, I think. It's that, I mean, that was actually, yeah, that was really good live television, i got to say. Uh, yeah. Let's see. Let's see if my client crashes. Whether well, it's the corrupt, it doesn't look like the save is corrupted, which is good. We look good. We'll see you next month, most likely. Yeah, we haven't ended a month yet. So uh, during, during the pause, uh, I was asking the players how they're doing, and Nagi says he was struggling with his economy, and it, it does look quite. He kind of was me, for a bit, though. Well, I mean, he, he's he's oh, he's always had yeah. low resource output across the board. Whereas Woodman C is just a kind of a glut of consumer goods. And yeah, okay, some basics are having a bit of an issue, but generally quite a yeah, lot of his, stuff. His, his food is starting to suffer. 
Oh, he's still his sec. He, he's got a generator world designation on his alloy planet. That is rough. Hold up, hold up. Nagi has cloaking. What? Wait, what? What? Nagi is sending a cloaked is he science using ship. It? Yeah, he's sending a cloaked science ship into his enemy space. So this is the power of going technocracy, you know. And he's got cru he's, he's got cruisers with swarm of missiles now. I mean, he's... But he hasn't built any of them yet, right? No, I don't. No, no, sadly no. Yeah. I'm pretty sure David missed his timing. He is moving his ships forward, though. So the question is if he's going to go defensive on his uh, forward choke point, or what his plan is going to be. He's going to defend it. Look, he sent his ships up there. Once they meet each other, he's going to see that... Uh, I guess they won't have a lot of intel right away, but once they get a bit of intel on each other, he'll see, Dave, uh, see Naki as equivalent. I don't think Nagi's equivalent anymore. Even with just the destroyers, I'm pretty sure he's strong. Well, Nagi has allegedly lower fleet power. The only thing that would save and David he here, right, got, is if uh, David holds stations. the ships behind the star base. If David could defend... Oh, the issue is, even with David defending, he's going to lose more ships than Nagi does, because I'm guessing Nagi is on hit and run. Tell me he's on hit and run. No, he's on rapid uh, deployment. Oh. Yeah. But, but Nagi got star holds, so he's making defensive bases with hangar modules on star holds. You're not getting through that with corvettes without losing a lot of ships. Not like this. Not like this. So assuming they don't kill each other in time and it went to arbitration right now, who would you say is doing the best? I think I it's too like soon to call. Have... I think yeah. it's too soon to call. To be honest. I mean, Nagi is clearly ahead in observer score, which does count for something, but wouldn't see has a and higher fleet power number. Also clones. Clo yeah, exactly. Clones giving him 25 more pups is definitely helping him a lot right now. He is playing the stronger build. And he's executing a tech build decently, I would say. Yeah, whereas David's not um, making tech. Yeah, Dave, and he's David running a, had a food a, deficit. And he had a potential very strong timing that was lost because he didn't know to do the planet uh, designation stuff. He's still, he's built, oh, he hasn't even set, he set Quark to be a generator world. He's physically yeah, said that, that there's no that there's right no there's before. no technicians. I I don't yeah. think David clicks on the population tab. I, don't I think, think that's so the either. issue. I think he's not looking at population. Which is the thing is, it's hard to know you have to factor all of these things into in you know into consideration. Now he's running a food deficit, he's gonna buy it directly from the market. I'm guessing he'll click plus a thousand or something. That's what I would bet. Yeah. He should sell consumer goods. Well, he's selling ten. Yeah, so he's He's making consumer goods with, with these artisans that he doesn't need. And then, oh my... Mm, mm. Yeah. He's got Quart as a Forge world, but he's kind of also built this other world into a Forge world. I don't get it. Why? What's the nest? Why? And because he's not running any tech, I don't think he's got the hydroponic base, does he? He's got the tech for it, but he's not building the hydro base. No. Which he's is got why UV he has lasers, mining drone lasers... Extra support and fleet command, which is good. More leader lifespan, destroyers. I mean, the thing is, David's tech isn't atrocious for year 30. This is kind of okay, actually. I mean, we are on 50% tech, tech speed. Uh, I suppose. Yeah. 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 Switching over to look the, the at um, Nagi, what have we got? Uh, Antimatter reactors, tier 2 armor, plasma thrusters, colonial centralization, just rolled into. Probably, I'd probably pick Doctor and Interstellar Warfare here if I was him. Yeah, Nagi so is like clearly right now, the, doing uh, pop management, though. If you look at his uh, Sebel Rai Prime, he's unemployed some jobs. He's got unemployed specialists, yeah. for reasons I don't quite understand. He, un he unemployed his clerks, which I'm assuming would make you very proud. Yes, no, I, good, good. He's got entertainers and he doesn't even need them. That's, that's my main gripe here. Like on his capital, he yeah. could just unemploy the entertainer. He could... Upgrade the capital, unemploy the entertainer, and unemploy the enforcer, and instead have either another research lab or an alloy foundry or, or just something else for that extra efficiency. It's all about efficiency in this game. Yeah. Monty, you should really do some training streams for the noobs. They've done months of Admirals games, okay? And they don't they, they have hundreds of hours. This isn't like complete noobs. This is that basically what we mean is not hardcore pvp meta players these are 
regular players. They're not used oh, to playing Michael, on normal speed constantly. They're used to pausing. Go on, go on, Jan. Yeah, but when you're saying training streams, Michael, do you like stuff like this where you'll see in a moment where Munch will start to coach one of the players? Is this good content for you guys? Like watching us tell what's wrong with a build for newer players. Like this is very different from uh, the normal builds we're showing. Rooster is uh, asking how you unemploy pups. That's a good question. So you Could go you to your planet, you go to your pop tab, you expand by clicking one of these to show all the pops, and there's a plus and minus. You click the minus to decrease the priority, thus un reducing the number of jobs available. So you made a guide, right, uh, a year ago, I think? About, I like, think... the very basic mechanics of uh, Stellaris. I can't remember the name right now. Well, I've also, I also made a, um... I've made an idiot's guide to Stellaris 3.4. I have made a complete yeah. beginner's guide to go through all of the tooltips and stuff for 3.8. So not the most recent. And that one, I went through it in 16 minutes, so it's really compressed. That one does include yeah. pot management. There is comments on how you can open it up, unemploy, employ, that sort of stuff. Um, but it doesn't yeah. necessarily give you tips on how to play better. It's just this is the things you can do. The mechanics. Exactly, yeah. crammed into 16 minutes. I'm currently going I'm currently going to do a um, a long play guide that's maybe an hour or two long. That's the, the complete beginner's guide to Stellaris. I've been waiting until we get a bit more patch stability, basically. The, the changes coming patch to patch at the moment are so massive that yeah, if I the, made a the long... The has never been more fluid. Yes, the, the, the game, every two or three months, there has been a massive rework that fundamentally changes how you should play, basically. And it's just been, yeah. I mean, it's been rough even for the experienced players. We uh, can hear Gold is asked... Oh, sorry. Uh, talking about the... Uh, yeah, Gold sorry. on Twitch is asking, do I have a guide for small optimizations that make you from a noob to average? Yes. I have a... It's called... I think it's called Min Max Guide. I think it's on 3.6. Almost all of the tips there are still valid. Um... And it's things like unemploying your your clerks, for example, because it's a low efficiency job and making sure to not have too many available jobs because available jobs are useless. You should not have... Yeah. Basically, you want maybe one or two available jobs that people could move into as they, as they grow, uh, especially when you've got quite a lot of planets. It's good to have a couple available so that you don't have to constantly go back to every planet every few months and click a new building. Um, yeah. So what what you'll see when uh, like PvP players optimize a build is always trying to find the edge. So like early in the stream, I talked about the main thing you should worry about in the first five years of the game is actually even the first two or three years. Get down your guaranteed habitables. Once you have those, that that's the most important thing for those three years. So what the pro players will do is they'll optimize every single resource they spend for the first few years to get out, like just eke out one or two months earlier on their colony ships. Then, once you get into a bit later in the game, if you're overproducing minerals, you're probably underproducing research. If you're overproducing something else, you're probably underproducing alloys. All of those small things add up, and they add up a lot. Go poke the players and give them their 30 minute warning. Okay, I'll go. Because I think, I, th I just physically tell them they got a 30 minute warning. Because because we, we will give them, we give them well, that gives them a little bit of extra time for the delays, but I think we are at that point. Hmm. I told them they have 30 minutes and they should probably start hitting each other. I mean, they're currently at equivalent fleet power, except we know Nagy's fleets are just fundamentally better. Let's take a look at these things. The Hercules... Man. Oh, he's gone with the Latinization. I'm upset now. I hope they die. Uh, but the uh, they should be the Heracles-class <laughs> cruisers, not the Hercules. I hate the Latinized version of that name. Really irks me. Um, but uh, they're really good. The these, these ships are actually just really good. These are very good ship designs. Yeah. Uh, honestly. That, that's I, uh, a... I wouldn't say it's a meta ship anymore because people know how to counter it these days. No, it's but given really that strong. given that David isn't countering, yeah, he's just auto designing. That, yeah, it's yeah. That that cruiser design uh, is he running triple alpha? Yeah, that yes. cruiser design can murder on bidden fleets. So if Against, you're playing oh, yeah, a, a you can crisis. One hundred k of these. Uh, so you need to need to make sure that everyone's aware. It can only fight one fleet at a time because otherwise the pathing goes wrong and it doesn't um, it doesn't kite properly. But if you fight just one fleet, you can have about 100k of of, her, of these cruisers and you can take on like three, four million fleet power of Unbidden and just kill them. They'll yeah, never shoot as long at you. As you have the, 
Is carrier computer better than artillery here? I think artillery. No, is artillery better is better because you, you get more range. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. This is a little mistake because this 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 doesn't actually help. So with the engagement range, you actually only need what if, if what you're the, trying the to. The first fight started, by oh. the way. Yeah, I see that. Oh, and he's because he's, DJ, uh, he doesn't have any. Uh, he doesn't have uh, what what's called the things that in, inhibit um, FCL inhibitor. No, he does. He so does. Now, now, now uh, Woodman's he, he has does. an inhibitor. Look. Oh, I thought Nagi was about to fly past them. He tried to, but when he declared the war, he, he put okay. the path in before declaring the war. Ah, that makes sense. I hope so, yeah. Woodman C comes back. The, the issue is his 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 he hasn't upgraded this star base to be level two. He, Woodman C needs to bring his fleets oh, together. Where is he going with Na them? Na Naki has uh, moats, so he can also turn on volatile explosive when oh, the fight Jesus. starts. I think I think this is gonna be a, I think this is gonna be a cakewalk. I'm pretty sure Nagi is going to catch up to these ships yeah. before Woodman C can get them out of there. Does Woodman C have any moats or anything? Uh, any any any? No no edicts. Oh god, oh god! It's gonna be a bloodbath. Yeah, and David's defensive station is uh -oh. not going to be enough. Even this uh -oh. out, I think. Yeah, that station is not. Is not looking good. But they're holding. They're holding. Oh no! He's holding position. That that gives David time to bring his fleets together. Ah. Oh. Yeah, I think David's moving. To, I guess he's moving back to his shipyard. I don't quite I understand it's, the it's purpose. A, it's of that. a higher upgraded base. I mean, at this point, knowing the enemy's coming in, you start building a couple of defensive platforms wherever you're going to be defending. Yeah. Change them to have given. Like, yeah. Hero Vash should be building uh, um, any anything really. Yes, uh, change over, you know, cha change these over to a gun battery, but that takes six months. Much better to spend the two months. Oh, David's on the moving platform. back into a hit town now. Why? He's going to get there too late. Think... Yeah. Oh no no no! He's in and there. He's... What are we going to? Here we go. I think we're going to see David's ships get flattened here. Yeah. There comes the kiting. And yeah, I mean, I, it's actually, it's actually pretty it's close. Closer than I thought. Yeah. Yeah, those lasers. That lasers are still really good. And no, David's not losing because he hasn't got. He, he still has the speed advantage. He's fast enough. He's fast enough to catch the fleets. So those lasers are going to yeah. outperform the missiles. I mean, in my testing, lasers do outperform missiles. But. He's lost. No, he won. Oh, Holy crap, that was close. Look, look at those numbers now. Though. Yeah, I'm yeah. Pretty David's sure fleet and a lot more ship. decimated. Absolutely. He, he, that's that's basically David's out of the fight now. Yeah, David lost 30 ships and uh, Nagi lost 17. But they're both, at a, they're, interestingly, they're both at about the same naval capacity now. Because yeah. the the ships that Nagi has are just fundamentally better. Well, most more expensive ships, yeah. You're right. That was actually closer than I thought it would be. The yeah, much closer. It, well, that, I mean, that's what, if David had David made this a star base with all four, uh, all four, ba all four batteries on, and yeah. also thrown in. No, I tell you what happened. The communications jammer, the minus twenty percent sublight speed, meant that David's ships could actually catch up. So this system oh, is the brilliant. only system David could have act actually won in because his ships are slower slightly than Nagy's. But with this, they had enough speed to catch up and defeat the kiting. That is unintentional and brilliance. David, That's unintentionally David is making amazing. more alloys per month. But Nagy's... So Nagy's, Nagy's going to be got rebuilding better ships. With, the question is whether Nagy knows to rebuild with only... Uh, Cruisers, like if he starts rebuilding his destroyers and corvettes, that's going to be wasteful. Like he needs to just only make cruisers now. What well, he is building? Let's yeah. see what he's building. Can you see his shipyard? He's building cruisers, Hercules class cruisers. Yeah. Did you see the trader name of his uh, destroyer class? It was Mantu, not Muntu class. Disgusting. Yeah. The Mantus. Oh God. That reminds <laughs> me of a certain certain hit hit piece put out years ago. Um. Oh yeah, let's not talk about that. Mm. No, it just reminds me. Uh, funny. Oh, uh, JD <laughs> know, says, "Fight, fight, 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 fight." Uh, so someone's asking, "How do we? F how do you kite in a fight? The battles are automatic." Well, depending on the combat computer, that changes the behavior of the ships. And I do talk about this in my um, in my ship design videos. Um, so 
Carrier and artillery computers mean your ships will stay at the longest range of the weapons. So in this case, 120 they'll stay at. The, uh, if I just go to ship designer for a moment, that will make it easier for me to illuminate. The, the line combat computers put you at medium range, so it takes whatever the average range is, the median range, and puts you there, which ironically for these would be still 120. And no, then normal missiles are only 100, right? So uh, yes, but it, he has most, the most things he has is the, it's the median range. Ah, okay. I'm pretty sure. Might be, I might be I'm wrong there. I'm pretty sure Line puts it at the median, not the mean. Um, so there's more of these missiles at 120, so I think they end up there, but I might be wrong. I'd have to double check that actually. Um, anyway, Picket and Swarm put you at close range. So you come into basically into 30 range, which means everything is in range and you try to get close and close and close. So the ships that uh, Woodmancy has, we go to those, they've got Swarm and they've got Picket Computer, so they're going to go into close range. Oh, the auto designer just updated and it's swapped out the lasers for more missiles. Oh, sweet Jesus. Oh. If, if either of us get David, the one thing we need to ride him on is design your ships. Design your ships. Yeah. Design your ships. Turn off auto-generate. Design your ships. Yeah, uh, but the ship designing and uh, the planetary management are the two things that uh, whoever's coaching David needs to poke him a little bit about. Yeah, well, basically, it's very minor, and that's the thing. Minor improvements are going to massively improve your gameplay. So, yeah. one minor thing is go to the population screen, unemploy and reemploy jobs to, to change the priorities around, and don't have this yeah. many open jobs. And the other thing is design the ships. I think those are actually the only two places David's really fallen down here. Uh, on the other hand, uh, looking at Nagy, I would actually say he went a bit too heavy into tech and he's not producing enough alloys. I actually think that's been his downfall here because he uh, had uh, the tech advantage but didn't have enough ships. I'm a little surprised that he's not keeping up in alloys considering how many more pops he has. Like, he should be translating 30, uh, well, 23 pops into a big advantage, I think. But what is he actually producing? So he's got... And he made the mistake of going uh, high shields instead of armor on uh, his tech choice. But that could just be what he rolled, of course. Well, having said that, the high shields should have helped against the lasers, actually. That was, ironically, yeah. probably the best defense against those lasers. Because the tier 3 shields have equivalent hit points to the tier 2 armor. If he had tier 3 armor, I might agree with you. But if it's a choice between tier 2 armor and tier 3 shields, against lasers, you want the shields. Um, sure. But it's oh, also like the fact that he, the fact that he has to use uh, such a high tier um, reactor on his ships is also driving up the uh, the cost of his ships unnecessarily because he could swap that yeah. down to well if he removes some of these shields and replace them with armor he, he goes to be saving like two. thirty or forty no much yeah, more than that saying, he's now cost 40 40 LOGs, right? Oh yeah it is only thirty or forty that's not that much yeah it still matters. Oh, I'm looking at after discounts. Yeah, it's like he's got 30% discounts at the moment. That's pretty good. What does uh, what does David have? David has minus 20%. Hmm. David's going for a higher purpose. What the heck? That's an interesting. I mean, he. What? Look at Nagi's fleet power numbers now, though. Okay. 13k, yeah. And that's with 20 less naval capacity. And those admirals aren't terrible. 30%, 35% fire rate, 20% more weapons range. Oof. Morgan HD is asking, are close range tactics worthwhile? Good question. So disruptors are fantastic, unless you come up against something which has which has uh, armor, armor or shield hardening. In which case, yeah, they kind of suck. But... Before armor and shield hardening, disruptors are only close range and they are really, really good. Yes, they generally cause a bit more disengagement than death, but they're still overall better than running equivalent weapons at the moment. Assuming you're Especially not coming up against the armor. AI right now, because yes. the AI apparently doesn't repair its ships. Probably. Yeah, the AI doesn't. Yes, yeah, which makes it really easy to just ruffle stomp the AI after a couple of engagements. Yeah. Absolutely. The second thing you really want uh, close combat with is if you're going torpedoes. So if you're playing, uh, what, 
the things you'll see in the in the tournament games is the rock paper scissors. I'm oh crap! Did we hit the sub goal on Twitch on already? No. Oh. Wait, wait, give me a minute. I'll fix that. I'll fix hey, that. You did that far long. No, we hit it again. Well, I already again? updated it once. Yeah. Uh, let me just change it. Uh, 160. Can I just say on behalf of Manchu, Twitch, you are being so generous. It's very nice to see that uh, streaming on Twitch makes sense. Oh, uh, wait, wait. I can't set it. Oh, crap. I tried to set it to how many we currently have, apparently. Apparently, you can't do that. There we go. Right. Good. <laughs> uh, I didn't realize we had. Uh, so, new tw new sub goal. Fine. New yeah. goal, more beer. Yeah, I mean, if we hit that, I will go and get a second beer. I wonder if, if, if you hit the second gold munch, I'll go get a beer as well. Oof. I'll oof. be here. Uh, yeah. So, at the moment, I would, I would, so I would actually give this game to David, not because he's winning militarily and will continue to win, but because of that defense. That defense was almost inspired given how much worse his ships are. Oh, for God. We hit the goal. Yeah, Jern, we hit the goal. I didn't even, no, didn't even get it, a chance. It, it Ursula just came in and smashed it out of the. For, for, for alcoholism, for the Republic. Um, all right. Um, okay, so what be? Well, I think I'll we need to. I, I, I'm not sure how much time we've got. We've got 200 days. No, we've got 200 days, Yern. We have run, to run. Run, run. Run and get a beer. You run as well. Run quick. We've got, we've got 99 days. 199. Oh. Okay, okay, we're back, we're back, we're back. How many days? How many days? 115 days. Good job, team. Ooh. I'm back as well. Yeah, I ran up and down two flights of stairs because I'm very sensible and I'm on the top floor and the, uh, the and beer is in the fridge on the bottom floor. Mess you up. Yeah, no, I didn't bring a glass. I'm not stupid. Whoa. I ran too fast. My heart is beating. Um, <clears throat> oh, God. <laughs> so, what What be the... I got an ale number 16. I've, I've now picked up, I've, I've switched from Amstel to Beer Moretti. Oh, sorry, well, oh, I, hear, I heard that. Oh, I shook it a bit. Oh, crap. Mm -hmm. Apparently, I shook it a bit when I ran. This is the sound of Manchu desperately drinking foam, I think. No, 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 it's fine. It's fine. I drank it. I drank it. It's fine. It was a, it was a momentary issue. Now, let's watch the fight. I don't think, I don't think that Woodman sees bringing, he's not brought his ships back up to the defense. No. He's staying at the shipyard. Maybe he's AFK. Yeah. I don't think he's AFK, I just think he's desperately trying to manage his economy. He's crashing on food. He's oh, here. God. He's forgot to build, he still forgot to build hydroponic base. Like, his deficit would be gone if he just built... Oh, he's yeah. got one hydroponic bay? Yeah, but he's got other star bases that have literally nothing on and have slots for hydroponic yeah. bays. Oh, God, he just needs to buy some food. Just click buy 100. All you've got to do is click that button. And he's not going to defend the star base that saved him last time. Oh, no. No, no, no. That's, Ladies and gentlemen, I think a, F's in chats. I think F's in chats yeah, F for, for the uh, Starbase. Not just for the Starbase, but for, for, for Woodman C's, uh, Woodman C's continued existence here. No, but that was like an anime betrayal, not, not saving the Starbase that saved you. I know, I know. And he's just sat here at home. Just just going, look, you I got a big right fleet. You might be right that he's, uh, he's just, he doesn't know what to do now. He's in a oh, food deficit. And they've engaged. The fight. And I think, I think they're just, he's just not going to be in range. Let's see if he does any damage. He's done. He's got a small output. No, that's his and missiles. Did, the missiles. The only thing that's on coming. His, uh, yeah. The, yeah. The missiles. His oh god, and he's dead. Yeah. And oh, they just respawning back in. Oh, he just lost his whole fleet. He just yeah. lost his whole fleet. The whole fleet just went down. Holy crap! Right. Looks like we're going up for some drunk coaching. I wonder who David's going to pick. <laughs> he's been coached by you. He might pick you again. And then I think we'll, I think, I think, I think in that case, um, uh, it's gonna be interesting. Should we go talk to the players? Ask if they. No, 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 because they haven't here. actually won yet. Let's, let's see. Okay, okay. Because the game isn't actually over. No one surrendered, and Dave is not. The ground oh. forces are coming. Yeah, but Dave is not building any armies. I, I just, at this point, he should have already built some armies. It was the only <laughs> other comment I'd be making. Uh, he did, he did, he did build a. Uh... A fortress on his capital and on uh, 
Oh, not fortunate, strongholds, sorry. Strongholds are not as good as defensive minutes. armies because the pops can die yeah. to bombardment and then the armies evaporate instantly, whereas uh, assault armies don't evaporate. They're just fought. You so, yeah. The, the trick to do this, if you have soldier jobs on your planet, you need to turn off your specialist jobs. Because otherwise, every time a specialist die, a soldier will move up to fill that specialist job. Uh, no, it won't. Nope, soldiers are hard coded to stay there. Uh, then they're not coded correctly because that's what happened to Boris in the last MMM. Depends on the specialist his, job. Uh... If you look at the moment, for example, on Quart Eta, two soldiers are not moving up into available specialists oh, yeah. because I mean, they're hard coded this... to be filled up. Which actually, yeah. I find that annoying. I wish they would move up, to be honest. Um, sometimes. I don't know what happened to Boris then, because he, he was losing all of his soldiers and his uh, his um, his specialist job would keep being filled up by soldiers when they died. Somebody he in chat says all of this... his alloy jobs... What did chat say, sorry? Somebody in chat said, this is going faster than my prom night. Um... Ouch. <laughs> oh. Well... But what, what we're seeing here is the effect of going technology. Like, and being allowed David, to do that un uncompeted. Un yeah. un uncontested, even, sorry. Uncontested, yeah. Tanaki is moving in now for the death blow. Yeah, all he has to do is take the capital. I don't think we should end it earlier. I think Nagi deserves deserves the victory. His, his victory lap. Mm. Oh, no, the victory, according, we, we haven't haven't hit the two hours yet. And I, we did say that True. due to the, the, the rehost, we're giving them a little extra time, so... They still have another, I think, 15, 10 to 15 minutes or so before we're calling time. Oh, wow. If 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 Woodmancy had have, had have engaged in the capital, he would have won. Look at this. Sublight speed minus 50%, ship fire rate minus 15%. If Woodmancy had have rebuilt the, his that capital star base. That would have been the perfect base. system. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Is that because Blur's in there, I'm guessing? Yeah. Oh, yeah. But then actually Blur could have moved on. It's not reliable. Yeah. 572 armies. Nagi's not got enough armies. So at this point, the best he can, thing... To... He can bombard it down, though. Yes, I would recommend at this point, the best thing to do would be to put a, a military governor down to go into martial law to get more armies on the planet. More garrison. Yeah. Has he done that, actually? I think he might have done that. I can't see the leader... No, he's got a minister of uh, 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 an official governor. Yeah, he's got an official. If you put down a soldier, though, you get additional armies on the planet and additional uh, output based on the governor level. And it so, keeps uh, it helps uh, stabilize your, uh, your yes, uh, your lo your re and it helps stabilize your resource economy because you get more resources from yeah. basic. And uh, at the moment, his issue is basic resources. You might be surprised. So, oh, what was that? Oh, it just it just got taken. Oh no, David surrendered. David ah. surrendered. Yeah, he uh, he said he surrendered. Right, let's go and let's go and talk to our players. See what they thought of that. X suddenly failed. Uh, I was like, oh oh. Hello, you're live on the Big Brother house. Please do not swear. Meow. So, should we start with the uh, with the victor of this uh, of this death match? Um, Nagy, how do you think it went? What was your plan? We, we we saw some stuff. We saw some of the plan. But what what what? Tell us in your words. What was your plan, and how well did it go? Uh, much industry, much minerals, much alloys. But um, it went much slower when I hoped it would. Sorry, you're saying your plan was alloys and minerals. Yeah. Um, okay. I got okay. the industrious industrious trade on my species um, yes. to get a lot of minerals. Yeah. 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 No, we saw that. Um, and then, so what happened in that first engagement? Do you know, or um, because because uh, you, you didn't you didn't win at Anahita the first time? We were a little surprised that you lost that. Yeah, we were actually a bit surprised until we dove into some of the details around it, and then we we finally figured out what happened then during that engagement. Um, so basically, uh, well, actually, let's speak to Dave, let's speak to let's speak to Woodmancy first, our uh, ignominious uh, loser. <clears throat> um, how did it go? <laughs> what was the plan? Uh, the 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 plan was to you know settle the two systems, and I started off with um, one of them being two jumps away, so that wasn't very good. Yeah. Um, 
He did actually manage to get down at both your guaranteed slightly faster than Nagi. I did? Okay. Um, and then it was just try to get alloys as quickly as possible. Yeah. And, and you did that. You had a good alloy production. You made some mistakes, but we'll get back to that. Well, you can always watch the live oh, I'm stream sure I... after the fact if you want to. Because we, we, we basically... True. The thing is, the, the level of play here wasn't bad at all. There were a couple of minor mistakes, different mistakes, that, that I think both players made that hurt them in, in slightly different ways. Um, so, David, what I have to ask you, do you know there's a population tab? <laughs> and have you clicked on it ever? Ever? Yeah, I've clicked on it a couple of times. Did you click in on it all in the hours session? I played? No, I did not. I don't th that's what I figured out halfway through when really? I was beating my head against the wall going, why are there 12 un why are there 12 open jobs and also why have some of these jobs been left to to, to exist? Um uh but but it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Um I have I have a tendency to build what I think I'm going to need early. Yeah. That's so and mainly I don't build it as I need it. Your second world was the main one on Quart Asia, I think it was. You've never had technicians or miners there. Do you know that? No. No, no, sorry, no. Quart Kernitia, whatever it is. The planet where you ha made a generator world, you've never had any uh, technicians work that job ever on that world. Ever. Really? Never, yeah, okay. never. Not, not the whole game. I, I might have to start looking at that tab. Um, yeah, that tab would have... It's a very good tab. It's a very, very useful tab. Um, yeah, let's not go through... We're well, not going through... Anyway, sorry. Not go through... Blah, 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 not... Blah, blah, blah. Not go through the. We'll catch some of the stuff in the in the coaching exactly. in the next game. Um, but so basically, to give you guys a rundown of what we saw, Woodmancy had the advantage for the first 25, 30 years. Higher alloy production, bigger fleets for quite a while, but much lower tech. Uh, Nagi yeah. had you had very few fleets for a long time. There was actually a long period where if David had just invaded you wouldn't have been able to stop him. You had 200 fleet power and he had like 4K. Um, but he didn't. And he also fought I against find the him. mining drones. Yeah, the, the, the two mining fleets were mm. a big boost for Nagi. Yeah, well, those you came at them with... Oh, the other button I want to ask you about is, um, do you know you can turn <laughs> off the auto-generate design button and design your own ships, Woodman C? Yeah. Nah, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not good enough. The pain! The pain! <laughs> Oh, God. Um, no, so basically, because the auto-generate chose the designs, it gave your ships lots and lots of uh, kinetic weapons. Fighting against the mining drones, the drones only have armor, so the kinetic weapons meant that your ships were quite ineffective, unfortunately, and that's why you lost quite a few ships fighting them, even though you had quite a lot more fleet power. Um, yeah, I, which, I, I, I noticed I didn't do quite as well against those. Yeah, yeah which which did slow you down quite a bit. Um and then it meant that when when Nagi finally decided to engage you, we were quite shocked actually because when Nagi came in, his ships were very technologically advanced. He came in with cruisers, with swarmer missiles, lots of afterburners, um, and he came up against. At that point, I think you just uh, your ships had just updated to get tier two weapons on them. I think you had higher technology, but the ships didn't want to use them. I don't know why. Um, and then we predicted Nagi and a Nagi victory at Anahita. But you had really pulled a fast one on us by building that communications jammer, giving sublight speed reduction to Nagi's ships, meaning he, his ships didn't actually kite. So your lasers were able to take him out. It was very close, but without that communications jammer, you wouldn't have won that engagement. It was really yeah. Well, good he escaped to see. when I looked at the when I looked at the stats. He escaped without losing any ships. That's well, not actually no. as I got. So you had more ships because you had more alloys. Your ships were just worse individually. After that fight, you had equal naval capacity worth of ships. You lost half your fleet, and he lost like five or six ships or something. Maybe it was eight. I don't know. But, you, you know, from that point, it was a bit downhill. Um, yeah. yeah. He could rebuild cruisers while you had to rebuild corvettes. Yeah, he came in with... The minute I saw he had cruisers, I knew I was in trouble because I hadn't researched it yet. Yeah. Yeah. Well, your research was just quite a bit behind, um, because, which isn't a bad thing in this situation. It's just, I think... You just weren't really able to capitalize on it. It meant Nagi came in and just kind of surgically took your stuff apart in the end. Um, yeah. After long enough, which, I mean, overall, that was quite a... I think, I, viewers at home, did you enjoy that match? I thought it was quite fun to watch. Um, it, it did actually seem quite balanced, and it was really interesting that you went for kind of two different strategies. I, I know, Nagi, you said you were going for an industrial base, 
but you built quite you actually built quite a few research labs you're making 400 research or 350 i think at one point as opposed to david's 150 or so oh yeah i wanted to keep using labs on the capital by the way viewers, paid off. in case you don't know, don't go anywhere we're gonna have a second game in a moment yes Just, yeah uh, we're about to have a second game first. The players, yeah, we're talking to the players now. We're going to have a second game. Do you guys want to buy a break, or are you okay with the one we had, like, 30, 30 minutes ago? Do you want to take yeah, another? Yeah, we'll another. Okay, cool. So yeah. we'll take and 10 the... minutes. Um, you yeah. will host a match. Much we'll talk about the game, I think. Yeah, we'll talk about a game. you will host a match in a, bit, in a bit. And, oh, first thing we need to do is, David, you lost. Who would you like to have as your uh, tutor, your compatriot, um, your, your assistant. Well, I heard I heard some rumors that there's been some drinking going on while we've been playing. Both of us have been drinking. And right? I realized that that drinking was in sorrow for the gameplay. <laughs> um, I said Twitch, Twitch chat, chat that decides to, to bribe Munch to drink, and then mm. they decide to bribe Munch to make me drink as well. So. They did. <laughs> they keep the... Um, well, yeah. all right, so since it's bio, I'll, I'll take Montu. Okay. Yeah, you've chosen, the, you've chosen the right lizard for the job, sir. Don't don't you worry. I'll ride you like a, a you know, a, like any good horse. We'll break <laughs> you, and then we'll ride you well. It'll be fine. Um, oh, you'll, so you'll what is good. this population tab you keep telling me about? Oh, my God, about? right. Yeah, yeah, it's a tab that I'm going to be screaming at you over and over again to click the minus button on. So, <laughs> um, don't worry, Naki. Are we going to play... Are we going to play... Are we gonna play the same build again, or no? We're gonna play new to. builds. Yearn can sit down with you, Nagi, and design a build, and I'll, or maybe Yearn and I will both design a build for the other team to play with. That might be more fun. Oh yeah. Ah, uh, we we can sabotage. I think it's more fun if no, no, we won't too. sabotage. We can both design an okay build and give it to the other person live, and we can do that live and talk to each other through the next ten minutes okay. while you guys are on bio break. Yeah, sure. Let's do that. Yeah, that that'll work. And then we'll like we'll just send you. We'll, we'll, we'll make, send you. The... We'll make two builds. Yeah. And uh, David will get to choose his first, and then Nagi gets. Yes. Uh, we make three, maybe, if we're fast. Sure. And then they can draft their builds. You guys go take a bio break, and we'll design some builds. Uh, we'll do this with some okay. chat assistants as well. They can start shouting us about things they want. Oh, um, well, did, did chat enjoy it? By the oh, way, chat loved it. Chat said it was a fascinating game. For example, because uh, I think what was really good is. People are really used to watching the PvP stuff, and for most players, that gameplay, it's just, it's far outside of the realm of what players are used to, and it's confusing what these high-level players are doing when they're doing things that seem weird, they're riding the edge in terms of efficiency, and they're getting crazy numbers, and it kind of almost, I mean, kind of almost seems like magic some of the time, especially when you see PAX doing stuff. Um, yeah. But in this I mean, game, PAX people could follow along. magic to me. Yeah, well, no, exactly. In, in this game, people could follow along with what you were doing, I think, and it was both fun to watch, entertaining, and informative because the audience were asking questions about what you were doing because they understood it a, a bit more, um, I, I think, than some of the PvP stuff we watch. And on top of that, we were able to offer minor bits of kind of, oh, if they'd done this in this scenario, it would have given them a nice bonus. And of, of course, in Solaris, all bonuses are cumulative, so that would have helped. All right, you guys run away. We will design some some um some builds we'll come back in in a Vampire. few minutes okay all righty um should we just do this on mine and then i can just cut and paste the three that sounds fine all right so, uh, we make three builds for them and then david gets to choose then nagi chooses uh so have uh, so even nagi still has something to choose from yeah let's make three yeah let's make three let's start with a void dweller build no no i don't you really want to okay. coach someone through void dweller are you non-high oh, void dweller to... oh yeah i want i want to show someone how to allo rush on a void dweller on a non-high void dweller oh yeah as long as you stay on one habitat it's a strong build all right all right i the thing is though, actually i think you're right in this situation it's just make some allo districts make ship fight and yeah. I think that would possibly be a bit too broken for one player to get that and the other players not to. Because we do want to make yeah, them balance. It's, it's going to be a tricky build to pull off, though. No, because you just need to build a couple of be... alloy districts and just just, just wait and go. I don't think that's... It's up to you. If you think it's too strong... I, so I think that it's too strong given how little you need to do to get up to like 50 or 60 alloys a month within the first 5 or 10 years. Yeah, fair enough. That's, the only, that's my how only about... thought there. 
how about a shattered ring then? Yes, I'm happy to throw a shattered ring in. Um, Alright, we've got a shattered ring here. Uh, let's go with the... It's, uh, the arthropoid. Yes, there we go. Government and ethics. Catalytic processing shattered ring. Should we do that? <laughs> I actually don't think that would be uh, terrible. I think uh, that, that's going to be rough because you don't have the proper food district, do you? Yes. Yeah, they do. Um, yeah, but you don't want catalytic if you're going for scrap miners, right? No, you don't. No, you don't. But you can get lots of good stuff. Um, All right, how about... How about good old... Um... How about merchant guilds? You don't want to make it uh, strong and go... Uh, what's the name? Uh, egalitarian uh, dip diplomacy. What's what's it called? That way you get your factions for free. I think that's parliamentary that's, system. We'll have to give that to all of the builds. If we do that. That yeah, like that's that one's maybe. like that one's one of the best civic. I'm looking merchant guilds functional architecture at the moment. Egalitarian well, functional architecture is strong with the bug at the moment. Exactly. Yeah, I'm thinking egalitarian. Um, Militarist. Meritocracy is also great, although if you're going for the the mining stuff, you maybe don't want meritocracy. No, merchant guilds, not meritocracy. Merchant guilds, trade rings. Yeah, but I was thinking meritocracy. Oh, oh I see. Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. I, I think it'd be funny to do, because they, they do get the trade district on the shattered rings. Sure. Which I think would be interesting. Um, I'm just third civic. I'm guessing xenophobe because they're not going to have many planets to expand no, they're to. They're not going to reach. Oh, you mean uh, you're not going to take a uh, fanatic on one of them? Well, the only one I'd probably give is fanatic militarist, but yeah, that that's sounds just fine. It's maybe a bit, bit too strong. The loser coalition, excellent. <laughs> and let's make it a really bad. Uh, let's make it a white flag. There we go. Perfect. Yeah, that sounds like a good build. Or at least a build. It's, it's it's one of the builds of all time. Should we make the other two Ocean Paradise and um, Gaia will start? So all three stars is a, is an, a single planet. They ha the, the Ring Wheel does have the ability to uh, repair its ring segments, is my only thought there, though. Yeah, but they're not going to do that in this time frame. Yeah, I suppose you're right, actually. I'm not going to bother with the third trait on this something... one. Yeah, that sounds fine. Right, we've got one. Uh, I'm actually going to take a screenshot uh, and throw it into the chat so they can, so they just so they can take a look yeah. at it. Right, let's create another one. Uh, let's see, who do I like the look of? Ooh, let's go with some bird people. You can never have too many birds, right? So no by comment. making in an, an ocean paradise, you also give David a build that he uh, he's comfortable on. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I, I guess I, so he would pick that build. I kind of think let's go with um, agrarian, aquatic. Yeah. Then do uh, another angler build, maybe. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Give, let's give them an angler build. Uh, where are you? agrarian, aquatic, and where are you? Rapid breeders. Then we'll throw in non-adaptive and unruly, because they're not going to get. They're not going to colonize the second world. Why does it matter? Yeah. So just for the chat watching, we're not making two strong builds right now. It's not going to be meta builds. No, but, no, not uh, at all. It's going to be hopefully to... fun build for a short game. I think imperial for the resources from jobs in the capital system. Let's see. What else can we give them? Uh, anglers. Should we just make this one catalytic processing, or is that too strong? I think that's too strong, actually. Let's give that with anglers yeah, to start maybe. with. Um, uh, give them meritocracy. It's strong. Oh, wait, no, they can't do that with Imperial. How about Philosopher no, King? Uh, I was actually thinking uh, that the last one we should do is the... Um, it's under one rule. Uh, oh, the, yeah. The build that, uh, that... Yes, yes, the, the yes. The Machu Place community... That, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we made a while back. You can remember that one. I do, I do. Uh, let's give Cutthroat Politics, maybe. That's a bit of a... It's minus 20% Edict Upkeep, which is nice. Uh, not not overly terrifying. So 
I actually have the build called Muncher Place Community if you, I can guide you through it. I think I might have it as well. It is a you... under one rule, Shadow Council, Philosopher King, Authoritarian, Xenophile, Materialist. It's a delightful build. Actually, how about With Slaver Guilds? No, don't let them run slavers. Not Why? It's that. fun. What's the problem? Boo, Dude, boo. Reanimators. Reanim no, reanimators. Yeah, all right. they're fun. They're, I think this is wildly powerful, but all right. Uh, According to some of the PvPers, actually, it's quite strong in the beta as well, because yeah. they haven't nerfed the research output of reanimators. Notation <laughs> of my little worldie. Um... My little worldie, my little worldie, ah ha ha Delightful. And we'll give them... Charismatic, why not? Alright, and you want... Uh, I should take a screenshot of that. Ba -ba -ba, and just one more. I sent you a DM of the trade for the Muncher Place community build. The flag is very important because that flag uh, is uh, similar to the flag of uh, David's favorite football team. Oh, I see. Which one is that under? Imper Imperial. Gotcha. Yeah. Oh, wrong way around. Blue and white. Okay, gotcha. I can't remember the name of David's football team, but, uh, you know, it's important to pander a little bit to the Emperor, right? No idea what you mean. <laughs> uh, let's see what we've got. Oh, it's the Under One Rule. Of course it is. Yep, Under One Rule, Philosopher King, Shadow Council. I'm going to change the traits up a little bit. Rapid breeders, sure. charismatic. Communal is important, though. Communal is important because you, you know it is it is the Muncher Place community. Fine, charismatic and communal, they can have that. Yeah. Unruly deviants. There we are. You know who you are, viewers. You know who you are. Yeah. Uh, and what are we going for? So authoritarian. Uh, so sucker, plain fuck. I think we should swap uh, xenophile for militarist because otherwise, because they, they should all be able to have militarist basically. Yeah, sure. Shadow Council Philosopher King. Yes, this is excellent. I don't think this is overwhelmingly powerful, but it is excellent. No, it's not. Oh, and the planet name is Discord. Sorry. Exactly. And the Empire name is of called Muntu Plays Community. Uh, this should be an apostrophe. <clears throat> After the S, terrifyingly. The star, the star name is YouTube, by the way. Oh, is it? Sorry. Yeah. That should, No, it should be social media because we have Twitches as well. That's not fair on the Twitches. I see you, Twitch. Don't worry, I see you. Oh, the ruler should be Montu. Sorry, of course. I don't I don't know what I'm doing there. Um, <laughs> but no, I it's like, David Woodman. The ruler is David Woodman. Oh, is it? Oh, it is. Oh, yeah, it is, isn't it? Right, rule of traits. I'm guessing we're going with commander. Uh, I can't see what the traits exactly are. But I'm going to assume unwavering aggressor. And titan I of industry. And then I'm going to throw in... Um... Oh, wait, none of these are good. None of the negatives are good. Maybe I take oh, I that didn't off. know you could choose negative traits now as well. Is no, it no, it's only, it's only with the under one rule. Oh, okay. Oh, none of these traits. Maybe that's how the bug uh, happens. I think you can, if you change the origin right now after choosing several traits, I don't think it but removes the traits. But the traits trait. you can choose, though, are not, you know, they're not... Not the same, okay. No, it's special, it's special traits. Uh, and actually, okay, these traits enough. are too terrible to put on. Plus 20 crime. Enforcers reduce happiness. Yuck. Elitist, plus 30% leader upkeep, 20% amenities. Yuck. Warmonger, minus 10% happiness. Yuck. So, 
I think we'll just go with Titan of Industry and, and leave it there. Um, it starts as a level 4 anyway, so a level 4 with a plus 5, so it'll upgrade. Should we bring them back in and see what they want to pick? Yeah. Will you drag me down? I will put... Uh... Could you just... Uh, what? Do you want to show your chat something fun, then try and show them the screenshot I just sent you. This is something you can do in all your Iron Man games these days. From day one. <laughs> oh god, the traits, the traits! No! It's... <laughs> I don't think I want that. to show anyone that. I... <laughs> the, the, the more it's people rude. you show it, the faster it's going to get fixed. I suppose, I suppose. Here you go, ladies and gentlemen. Look at this. Look at that. Yeah, I can't oh, believe they're done. Have Ooh. you seen that? Look at that. That's that's level three on everything. It's like a bajillion levels day one. If we look and at the you time, can do that in Iron Man. Or multiplayer for that Look matter. at the time there. Yeah, that's just... Yeah, that's something. It's right, perfectly back. balanced as all things should be. Oh my god, I'm not even gonna... So, we've made three empires for you guys. One of them is, of course, the Munchu Place community build. I don't know if Nagi and uh, David is muted. Are they here? No, no, I'm, I'm, I'm here. I'm, I'm looking. The Mod Two Plays that one I recognize. We yeah. tweaked it a little bit, but otherwise it's mostly the same. We gave everyone militarists because I thought otherwise we thought it was a bit unfair. The lobby is also up. Feel free to join. But before you, do, I'll just send. Put the. Um, let me just grab all the empires and put them across. Give me a second. Yeah. One moment. This you, I assume that you know how to put it in. Oh, one second. I should put it in as a. Uh, how do you put it in as a text document? I can never remember what the button is on Discord. You just copy paste it uh, into a text document and then drag that. Oh, text do I have to do in. that way? Do I? Ugh. I think so. Disgusting. Just make a Wait. new Word document or new uh, yeah, yeah, Word yeah, I am. Ad thingy. Save as. Uh, Nagi and David, do you, can you both remember how you copy paste a build in to your tech? Uh, your, uh, yes. Yeah. Can you cool, do as well, Nagi? I'll, I'll put them up. That way, you, it'll be easy for you to oh, just yeah. save them in. Oh uh, yeah. We need to we need to relaunch the game for that, right? Um, I don't think so. You might do. I'll put them in so you can just put all three in. Um, well, the one you pick, the one you pick, you can put in then. And that, but uh, sorry, David, I, I, any thoughts? I, 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 James, James is going to be upset with me, but the Montu plays community is just like a fun. It's just a fun. It's just a fun idea. Okay. You okay, disappoint yeah. me. Yeah, we can. We we might be able to get that going. All right. Um. Mm -hmm, yes, I'm sure that's. What 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 are your what are your thoughts? Since my thoughts are you should I'm, make your I'm... own decision. That's that's my thoughts. <laughs> that's all my thoughts are. Yeah, is that your decision is but, the important but you're, one. You're, you're my tutor for this. So which one do you think? Individuality and liberty are you know are, are things we shouldn't toss aside lightly. Is is my thought. And and a country a person that loses a little uh, liberty to gain a little security deserves neither and loses both. Interesting quote. I think that's Ben Franklin. <laughs> um, ben Franklin. Yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> um, so uh, you're going right, to play so, the Mitchell Plays community, right? No, I'm going to go Loser ah, Coalition. Really? Oh, God. I was sure you were going to go for the ocean Excellent. World. Interesting. Much you're going to have to coach him through a Shattered Ring trade build. That's fine. I have played that build um, about four so months ago So we are going to be the one to play community then, Jörn. You want to play the community? Yeah, I didn't want to play the um, Prosperous the Unification ones. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, my little worldie. So, so uh, the build which I, has the pop called the winners isn't being chosen. Interesting. That, that makes sense. Yeah, so uh, Nagi and uh, David, copy in your builds. And then uh, get into the lobby. If you're not watching live and I haven't put chapters in, please comment the time frame here on YouTube so that I can 
if I haven't if I haven't managed to do it, I can put the uh, the timestamp in here for the second match because this is basically when it's about to begin. For those of you watching live, it's about to begin. <gasps> uh, Nagi, you've joined and disconnected twice. Everything all right? Oh, you had to reload after you put the stuff on. Yes, I have to reload. That's yeah. I had to get out too, and, re and now I've got to find where I okay. where that file is. It should be in your documents. Uh, then uh, yeah, Paradox, yeah, Interactive, Paradox Stellaris, Interactive. It's in, user empire to sign. Oh, sorry, user, not, it's underscore v3.4 as well. It's not the one called user empire designs. That's old. Ignore it. Once we hit 3.4, we now yeah. use user empire designs v3.4 for reasons that are lost to time. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to ask the devs updates, about it. I'm that. not going to ask the devs. We're going to move on. That's going to take a full development cycle to fix that. Yeah, let's put polls on who will win. Is it going to be, uh... David and Manchu, or Nagi and Jernsax? What's the name of the file now? You guys confused me. User Empire Designs V3.4. It should just be in the Paradox Attack Stellaris folder, not any subfolder. Have you found it? Now I did. 3.4. Okay, got it. I've never played under one rule, so... Oh, <laughs> Lord. Good because I, I haven't either. <laughs> what you're going to find is you have no unity. Enjoy. On the other hand, yeah. <laughs> you're going to find that you start the game with, I believe it's going to be about 120 edict capacity, given what we've done. Not bad. So you'll never run out of edict capacity ever at all in any circumstance. Let's start that poll. I should add a third option. No one. Actually, who's going to win? No one. Um, Twitch and YouTube, there's the, two separate the polls. The viewers are going to win. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two separate polls. We'll find out what people vote now. Oh, brilliant. People are already voting no one. I see you. I see you. Immediately. <laughs> I've allowed on Twitch. Um, So on Twitch, I've allowed uh, spending channel points. On YouTube, we'll allow super chats for... um. For the equivalent to if you want to add percentages Man, because that's how lobbying yeah that's how lobbying works every every dollar he do will be the equivalent of one percent of the vote at the moment it's woodman c and no uh yeah uh, uh, they're not very supportive of you it seems only 15 percent uh roughly i'm, I'm, on both. I'm sure the fact that naki and me both said we'd never played the build before didn't help us yeah saying that just before i put the thing up probably yeah maybe you should have waited on that little gem that nugget of information I'm all about transparency, you know. But yeah, I mean, this it's not a tricky build, right? There's no no event change you have to take uh, into account or anything, right? Right? No, 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 not no, really. no event change at all. It's, it, it's no. only the yeah. first 40, 50 years. We won't last that long. Don't worry about it. You'll be fine. Okay. And as long as you don't need to spend... The other thing I should probably tell you, Ian, you don't need to spend all of the resources on the first narrative event to still get a good outcome. So don't okay. spend all your alloys on that and your minerals. Don't, don't. I mean, you can. It is slightly better, but the amount you spend for what you're going to get in ROI there, it's definitely not worth it on that colony. No, so, you're in so spend, like spend all your alloys. What alloys? We're, we're, we're pacifists. We're not going to go to war. You're not war. pacifists. Everyone's a military... What? I, I just made the things. What are you talking about? What? You... Lies. Pacifists. Pacifists. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. So Twitch is currently voting that Nagi is going to win, the winner of round one. Um, whereas Ooh. YouTube is voting that Woodman C is going to win. And and uh, it's a sizable majority on YouTube. But Nagi's... Oh, it's just... Sorry, I say that. Twitch has just turned around. I suppose some YouTubers just ran over to, to, and became Twitchers to, to vote Woodman C in. It looks like all that um, lobbying you've done, uh, David, has really paid off. My my people love me. Yeah, the losers, I right? Mean, for good reason. For good reason. Oh, sorry. I I meant that I'm not calling. I'm not calling my community losers. Our faction, our faction that you've picked, the the species are called the losers. So, um, well done <laughs> uh, in picking the losers <laughs> for this round. They're cockroaches, and you've decided to fight my entire community, and I have to help you beat them. Brilliant. Brilliant. <laughs> and also, the ruler of Nagi's empire is Woodman C. So, you know, if you win, you, you, you kill yourself. So you can't win. Like Woodman C or Woodman C. If, if you start 
you start winning, I'm gonna come into the voice channel and say, stop hitting yourself. <laughs> but, uh, I think we're ready, right? Are we ready? Yeah, do you want to ready? Oh, actually, wait a minute. Yearn, we shouldn't play as observers. Oh, no, we can. Oh, no, we can. No, we uh, can. actually, we should play as observers. Yeah, we'll just choose their empires. No, no, yeah, we should we'll we should play as observers, and we'll, yeah, we won't switch out of their empire. That way, as well, we can tell them where the other person is from the get-go, making it easier. Yeah. Uh, should I drag the two of you up into ultra-secure voice? No, oh, I can drag. No, we'll go into the Emperor's voice, a place you don't have access to. Oh, that's the other that, that's the other ultra secure communication channel. Uh, uh, David and Nagy, would you like to ready up? I, it, I always forget that button. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and may the odds be ever in your favor, um, both of you. Uh, let's have a let's have a clean match. I want biting, scratching, swearing, you know, name calling. Meow says talk to Nagy. Kicking. Excellent. I, I want you kicking, one blubbering. Thing, you? I only need one thing. I need blood for the blood god. Maybe some skulls for the skull throne. Go into it's, your it, It's more, it's oh, more yeah, like we are playing the other side this time. <laughs> Alright, so the game plan is we're going to win. Oh, now, now you sound much clearer build. now, so I don't know what... I don't oh, know what it is. You sound I know what it is. It's now. because the location of the channel will have been changed. Um, this channel, I mean, the the channel, the text chat, the voice channel you're in. It ha so yeah, it probably yeah, yeah, it's been changed. Oh, I'm the host. Okay. Oh yeah, lol, I'm the host. I have to click start. <laughs> you're in, you're in good hands, good, safe, secure hands. Don't you worry. Um, yeah, yes. I, I was I was going to request that one of them, one of the options be a necrophage since I've never actually done one and I'm always interested to learn the build, but. I'm I'm okay with this one because I think I've we should only done shattered too far apart. I'm just gonna get confirmation from Yearn. Give me a sec. Yearn, I think the distance there is too much. We should just rehost it. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's just gonna be too. We'll long. do a quick one. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I don't think my settings are correct. That's the issue. Uh, I'll host then. Yeah, you host. I didn't actually change my settings. Oops. See, I'll go back to. I'll pull David in. Don't worry, David. You're in very competent hands. Um, I had the wrong settings, and we have to rehost. Okay. It's, and also, yeah, the settings meant that they were too far apart between the players, and it's not my fault. I blame Stellaris. <laughs> the lobby's up, and the info is in the water closet. People are now going to wonder... What do you mean with that? <laughs> the water it's closet. Thing, yeah. it is, it's the perfect joke. I'll stand by that. I still hate it. It is. <laughs> so, uh, to the people who need to th this explain to them, uh, on Munch's Discord, there's a special room for only the custodians and the, um, the counselors, where they can chat away with Munchu and each other. And because they are the Privy Council, I named that channel the Water Closet because, you know, a, a water closet is another word for, for a toilet and a privy is also a toilet. I thought it was very funny. I it still is. laugh regularly. <laughs> I just still have to explain it when one asks me. <laughs> oh, somebody said something uh, on the water closet. It's really funny. The, the... <laughs> <laughs> So the, the the voice who keeps popping up that people don't know it's uh, James, one of the other custodians. Oh yeah, you James probably know him from timelines. Sneaking though. around here, lurking. I'm not sneaking. All right, Picasso swordfish. Yes. Picasso yes. swordfish. So uh, Nag, if you're ready up, then we're ready to go. And away we go. Let's check the map. Irreparable damage. <laughs> Yeah, this looks yeah, close. This, much this is fine. This is fine. Interestingly, yep. oh, that's a really interesting spawn. Okay, all right. Let's uh, let's jump well, to our own uh, voice channel then. May may the best yep. team win. Us, of course. Yeah. All right. So um, let's let's take a look at what we're making. So we're making food, we're making stuff. That's good. Okay. I think the first thing we want to do is set up a trade for 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 minerals because we want more minerals and i'd recommend you go straight to the maximum of 40 to be honest 
a monthly trade. All right, so was that something I should have done? Yeah, you went to 20 last time and you could have afforded 40. You should go to 40 because you need the minerals. Take the minerals. Okay. Done? Uh, pick Alloy research. Too, or just... Nah, just pick research. No, nah, just pick research at this point. Do you want recommendations Physics. on the research or... Yes, please. I always go with the with the speed. Uh, all or right, the, the research the, speed again the here, 20s. and then I would recommend Theramo Metal Armor on the bottom. Okay. Done. Cool. Uh, let's see what's the capital look like. We're fine. Just do your normal things. Go out serving. You know, you play the game, and I'm just going to try and help if if at all necessary. For uh, oh, another couple of starting setups things. After we go through our next month. You're going to want to fortify the... No, actually, you know you're not going to want to fortify the border. No, sorry, ignore that. Uh, if you go to Policies and Edicts, change over to Mercantile. Wait, let me check that way. That yeah, change over to I Mercantile. It's even... another tab I don't even look at. So Government, so... Policies and Edicts, the very top one, Diplomatic Stance, is on Expansionist. I'm yep. going to recommend we change that to Mercantile right now. Mercantile. Okay. We could do isolationist, but I we're going for a bit of a trade build. We're going to go mercantile. And, then... uh, and so they are, to get to them, we kind of go south and east. We can also go north and east. They're just directly east of us. About six or seven star systems beyond the Jimorban dust clouds, which are due south of us. I don't know if you can see okay. that. Okay. Yep, I can. Cool. Uh, so we're not doing fortify the border yet. No, no need to. We're not building a star base. Let's not spend the unity on it. Um, well, we're not. It's free. We got twenty five. No, it's not free because when it, so. Okay, so the left number is how much you pay to start it. The right number is how much you pay in upkeep, and the left I number doesn't okay. come out of your edict fund. So you do pay fifteen, which is a whole month of unity for us at the moment. Okay. Making trade value there, trade value there, good. All right, so um, when we get the min minerals up, I, at this point, actually am going to recommend you build an Autocathon monument for the Unity as your first okay. building when we get to 300 minerals or something. What are your leaders like? Let's take a look at the leaders. Uh, you've got an official, which is Trader. That's fine. Okay, commanders you already have. They're fine. Don't really need another one. And the scientist you've got is, is all right as well. Yeah, we're all good. All good. Sit back, relax. And click on the population tab. No, no, no need now. I've already so, clicked. It. I, I will no, shout if there's anything need to be done. I'm just going to take a look and see what this tab actually is. <laughs> so it shows you the jobs I, you have, how many have yeah, been worked yeah. and how many are not. And on the there's three stratas, ruler specialist workers. On the right-hand side, you see there's like a down arrow. Yep, I'm, I'm you clicking click that? on it. I'm, I'm joking around. I have, I have. Yeah, no, I know you know about it. it. I do know you know about yeah. it because we've talked about it before. Um, <laughs> yes, the point is, have. you can you can unemploy things. So actually, having less farmers now is fine. We prefer the the, the clerks over the farmers at this point because they produce um, okay. extra trade value and amenities. We're, we're, we're happy with that. Uh, let's see. Yeah, it's time to build that building. As well on your capital, the Autocathon Monument. Yes. We are military junta, so we have effective counselor skill plus two, which is nice. Uh, be careful with that fleet. I would kind of, we we roughly know where they are. We don't actually want to fight them at this present moment. Let's just. Uh, no. Their build is going to be faster than ours in the beginning, so we need a little bit of time to get up, okay? I think. Okay, okay. All right, I'm just going to stick around just to take a look what's around me. So on That's Twitch... That's all I was going to do with it. Twitch is saying Nagy. They predict Nagy to win with 42%. On YouTube, YouTube predicts you to win with uh, 43%. So YouTube is behind you, Twitch is behind Nagy. Honestly, Twitch. Don't believe you don't believe in myself. Oh, the Ursa on Twitch is shouting, drink yourself sober, Montu. And I'm like, that's a great plan. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> that right it there, is afternoon why you get paid the big bucks. Right, so <laughs> we're not going to start clearing any of these tile blockers yet, okay? Okay. 
uh, what we're going to do, actually, looking at how much your energy wise, add in, um, add in seven alloys a month, monthly buy, I think. Yeah, that'll be, that'll be around 39. Yeah. I think we'll be good here. All right, we'll be good. I really want to see what they're doing. It's so terrifying be not being able to see everything. You know, because um, uh, the thing is, on the one hand, you know, we're going, oh, you should have done this and you should have done that. But obviously, we're doing that from a position of absolute information, which is so much easier. All right. So what am I doing? Uh, first pick here. Mercantile? Or no, am I grabbing don't, another. Stop. No, stop. Don't, don't stop. I didn't. Stop, I didn't stop. take it. I'm what picking. you're going to pick here is domination. For the. Blocker clear speed. The blocker clear speed, exactly. Yep. Now, uh, click click to clear the sprawling slum, which is the first blocker. And it gives me the pop. Exactly, because it's going to give you that pop. And we've done it for 100 cheaper, for quite a low unity cost, actually. And we're not going to touch domination again. Next, we're going to go supremacy. But we need more unity. Um, we are a little low on unity. Uh, I recommend the next thing you queue up is going to be an alloy foundry. So no research. No, just queue up the alloy foundry now. Actually, there's no need not to. Just, just because uh, you've got the minerals, uh, the alloys you put it in. Go for it. Okay. Uh, you can spend a hundred on a science ship. I think at this point, just the one. I'm allowed one science ship. Yeah, we basically we can we might find a couple of systems with a high mineral count or something ne near to us, and then we might take those. I'm looking actually at the Marineb system. I'm hoping that's got stuff in it, um, but but we'll have to see. This debris field is this the uh, the crisp? No, it's too debris too field. Small. What are you talking about? The I just got the in the system. I'm re I got the debris field, which is challenging. Don't do any. No, don't do any. Don't do any anomalies the, at this cr point. But, you're, but the, yeah, don't do them. Just, I know. just ignore. Throw I know. Away. I didn't throw them out the window. <laughs> Make them suffer. The old, the only one I researched in the last game was Alito because I wanted the Gaia world. Oh no, that was that was kind of nice. Um, all right, you might as well do this encounter. Why not? I don't know who it is, but we'll find out soon. I don't trust Jern. I think he's going to come and fly in fast. So, um, after you've done the faffing, bring back... Right, uh, so next up, Supremacy. And I assume we're going... Yeah, just pick Supremacy. The bottom... No, Well, no, the bottom pick for first contact. I don't know what the bottom pick is. What do you, oh, on the first contact? It's, uh, I can't see it. Yeah, go... It said go against them. Oh, yes, yes. Hostile. The one that... Hostile. The, the, the things are slow here. We're pausing. Or oh, it's your, your internet's slow. having a minor moment. It's coming back. It's back now. You're good. Hang on. Do I have anything open? Nope. I have nothing open. No, it just had a I minor should. lag spike. You're fine. Don't worry about it. Okay. All right, all right. I really want to see what they're doing. Oh, this is so unnerving. I can Twitch, YouTube. Uh, what, what, what's the next plan here? Militarist authoritarian dung beetles. No, no, no. We're the losers. Hag Honon, Hag Hononona. The Archon is a loser, and uh, a fe oh, you're a female loser. Sorry. Um, ruling from Valu. What can I say? All right. So I'm gonna get a scientist. I don't want the planet governor one. I'm gonna hold off a little bit. Don't take don't take a scientist right now. Uh, actually, yeah, no, do take. Right. A, do wait. Let's just see what you've got. Sorry, let me just see what you've got. Hold up. What scientists do you have? Yeah, you've got take a lifespan, look at architectural. No, just let's wait for a reload. Okay. Ah, no, screw it. I'm, no, I'm being too indecisive. Go on, just pick one. They're all basically the same. The well, level two one is the one like you should one pick. pick. Don't pick the level two. You can't okay. anyway. It's too expensive. But it's got higher upkeep. Just. Pick either the architectural interest or the other one. Actually, no. Pick the architectural interest, 
And then whenever you build something on the capital, swap your leaders out. Uh, is that too complicated? Or or no 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 I no that I all got just okay you're... cool. You you uh, all right. So where do, where am I sending him in general? South. Let's do the maw. Yes. Good good pick, my lord. All right, head of research, logistic understanding, charisma, or roamer. Uh, let me just check what your edict funds at. Charisma. I. Charisma. Okay. Yep. And. Uh, infinite opportunities. You should fire that off, and you should immediately. We should immediately go to evolving society. Not expand the council. Nope. Okay. We want the unity. A lot more. Remember to set your phases to fun as well. David, have you set your phases to fun? Yes, they've, they've been set to fun all day. <laughs> 110% excellent. <laughs> all right, let's... Uh... <laughs> Let's see. Alloy Foundry is coming along fine. Uh, we got that extra pot, which is good. What I want you to do, I'll wait on it, but what I want you to do is unemploy the Enforcer just before the Alloy Foundry's fire. Okay? Wait. I, you want me to micromanage things? Yeah, Where so, what I, what, so when we get down when we get to about 50 60 days which i think is long enough let's practice it we'll do it we'll do a practice run go to population <laughs> expand the specialist tab click minus one on the enforcer just so i can see how long it takes you to do it start now and then re-employ i did re-employ them cool oh. so when we get to 6 50 uh, when we get to 50 days i mean realistically you should do it 10 days before but let's not let's not get ahead of ourselves um in a minute we'll do that so for now though let's take master ship rights i think that minus 10% build cost is going to be good. All right, so after this month tick, unemploy. If you go to the population tab and get ready, I will shout when to unemploy it. Unemploy them <laughs> now. Do it now. Get rid of the enforcer. Kill it. Kill it with fire. Right now? Yeah, now. Do it now. Okay. Cool. Done. So Done. What, what that means is an unemployed pop. So we're only going to lose one of our workers up when we build this alloy foundry now because we have the unemployed. We're under 30% crime, so there's no crime problems. Now we're making an extra six, seven alloys a month for for basically free. I mean, it's 10, 10 minerals, but yeah. Uh, Trade-focused, energy mogul, or principled for the governor? Uh, oh, the governor. Trade-focused. You don't have technicians. You don't do technicians. Uh, the Minister of Defense definitely go with um, definitely go with aggressiveness too. Actually, no skirmisher. Oh, is it too late? No skirmisher. Unless it's too late. No, I haven't skir skirmisher. skirmisher. Nope, yeah, yeah, I haven't yeah. taken it yet. Yeah, because he's on the council. Ten percent sublight speed in this scenario is good. Right now, we're going to design your ships properly. If you go to ship designer, click off auto generate designs. <laughs> And I will send you. I will send you a designer. design to build. Give me a moment. <laughs> uh, oh, look at that! There's a little button there to unclick auto generate. I, I, what do yeah, you know? It's, it's almost magical. It is almost. <laughs> it's almost like magic. <laughs> and you should have the design now. It's a picket class ship, basically double laser with the flak battery, not the point defense. Uh, and you might as well bring your fleet okay. back to upgrade them. We'll uh, we'll fix the fleet while we're at it. Ooh, fleet organizer on the admiral. I'll, I'll wait till you do that. Oh, sorry, too many things. Too many things. Apologies. No, no, that. This is why. All right, just go home. Where are you going? Why aren't you going home? Move here. It's not. Let's thank you. Okay. Channer asking me how much we should expand at the start of the game. In this game, not at all. Oh, uh, actually, I take it back. What's that? What's that? There's the enemy ships. There's the enemy ships. Uh, okay, get get home, get home, get home, get home. 
You said fleet organizer, right? Yes, but, uh, but the most important thing now is design those ships and build four or five of them. They're in our space. Get home immediately. Uh, powered exoskeletons or research or Corvette hull points. Uh, ignore none of them. The only thing that they're in, they're in our home system. You need to design those ships that I sent you. I did, you should have a DM with it. I, I don't. I, I do. I do. Just patience. Blue laser. Yes. I hear it's a virtue. Patience. It it is. That's what, what I, I hear. Sounds like nonsense. You ask me. And I want, what did you do? What are those lasers? Yeah, those are yeah, lasers. Yeah, double laser, um, flak battery. Oh God, I think your science ship's about to eat it. No, they didn't attack the science ship. That's so wasteful. Can't believe Yearn let the science ship live. I'm gonna roast him for that later. <clears throat> um, anyway. I don't have a flak. I don't have a flak battery. You need yet. to go to the PSS picket ship style. So if you click, oh, on the top oh. it says interceptor. Pick click ship. that button. Got it. Got it. Change to got picket it. ship. Got it. Yeah, got and then it. you got get it. a P slot and two S slots. Yeah. Got it. You only get to see the weapon components when you click on the specific slot, unless you unclick some other boxes. Okay, and then double armor, one deflector. Also, know. that's tier two armor now. Oh, and you're and researching you blue have... laser, you beautiful human being. Yes. <laughs> uh, you've got nothing in the A slot. Do you want me to reactor booster or no? Absolutely not. No, no. It, it, the design I sent was complete. Don't worry. <laughs> it's all good. Okay. Uh, on the and capital. I will... Save it? Yep. Yep, did. All Done. right, let's go to the capital. Let's add another mining district. Uh, one. Let's yeah one. Let's take our let's take our build two star bases out to Bokramar because there's minerals and stuff there. So like Suskars more and then Bokramar. With your I'm constructor. sorry, you're gonna have to run that. If you take constructor and then the two surveyed systems to the south, just grab them. We might as well have them. If you use shift, you right, can so... queue up the orders as well. So yeah. you shift All right, right so. Yeah, sorry, you're gone. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Slow down, slow down. What am I taking? Overwhelming force or fleet logistics? Fleet oh, logistics, uh, right? Fleet logistics, yeah. You should have and you should have almost enough to buy another one in a minute. Ah, uh, not yet. Cool. All right. Now what am I doing? Uh now take your construction ship and we'll go south Suscats more and Bokramar. We'll survey those two. Well uh sorry, not survey, we will take them. And build ships. Chat just said, so the leaders of this mer <laughs> the leaders of this merchant guild empire are lost leaders, question mark. And I'm like, oh good. Good one, chat. <laughs> oh chat. <laughs> uh also, continue surveying with your science. Yeah, you just did it now. Awesome. Uh right. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Right. Let's also remove a oh, it's not enough. We don't have enough yet. So in a minute, I'm going to want you to remove a decrepit tunnel. That's going to give us minerals and alloys. It's a really nice ruin to get rid of. I'm finishing up supremacy, right? Just in general. Uh, yeah, yeah. And we, moving yeah. left. And, Doesn't really matter. And, and what moving left to right. Yeah, I don't and moving left to right. Well, you didn't okay. move left to right. You you moved down then, didn't you? Well, I finished left to right. Sorry. Let me, let, ah, let okay. Me you're also doing left most. Yeah, I got you. Sorry. You're not reading like Just, a book. You're reading. I don't know how. That's not a way of reading at all. Um, I'm. <laughs> you're having a good time. I, I, I if am. Yearn is, if Yearn is interjecting, basically, I'm, I wonder if Yearn is interjecting as much as me. Probably not. Um, <laughs> now he's probably having a far better time over there. Um, right. No. Don't, don't forget to use your construction ship and, and grab Bok Bokrimar, the system to the south of Suscats Moor. And then, 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 then we can just set that ship to auto. At the moment, I'd recommend you build more Corvettes. So if you go to your fleet manager, I've got uh, seven, seven now. Yeah. You want more? Let's let's add in another. How much does each Corvette cost? I don't, I don't see that one second. Ninety-nine right now. 
cool. Let's add another five. Let's go to 12. See, I just go to the station and build it there, but you're saying there's another place I can build it? So you go to Fleet Manager. There you then, it is. You see that I you see can that. plus on the Corvette. If you click that plus up to, like, something, then it will increase. But don't do that now. You've built them in the shipyard. Otherwise, it'll double build. Um, okay. So, what else to do? Uh, probably build a city district on the... No, sorry. Uh, the decrepit tunnels. Okay, let's clear one of those decrepit tunnels. They're right at the bottom, and they give us minerals and alloys. I ignore that. It'll be fine. We'll have a month where we, we don't get as many minerals, and then it'll bounce back. Give it a minute. Oh, look, we got 100 energy. Now it'll bounce back. In Bokrama, I'd Spark recommend... You... Sorry, go on. Spark of Genius. Sorry, just yeah, my... Yeah, Spark of Genius, 100%. Be Spark of Genius. Absolutely. And he immediately goes in as head of research. Absolutely. That was easy. Yeah, easy peasy. Um, in Bokrama, I recommend you upgrade the star base there. Hey, and chat, I'm not as dumb as I look. And then oh, welcome, this Churchill. is on a... Sorry, someone on Twitch just said that they normally watch on YouTube and they came across the Prime. Welcome, welcome. Um, no, uh, James is saying, can confirm it's just as hectic for Nagi right now. Right. Oh, in that case, I need to push you harder. Sorry. So, the construction <laughs> ship, you're building the mining stations. Excellent. Uh, the capital, it's uh, on, and it's on automatic. Tunnels, yep. Queue up a city district, if you would, for me. No. Why don't I just... Delay that. Delay that. Uh, queue up an industrial Blade. district. When that finishes, we're going to set your capital to a forge world. Okay. And you'll love it. Afterburners, minerals, or coil gun? Minerals. Miner uh, the minerals tech. No, we don't want... Geo we, I mean, geothermal. Fine. Yeah, geothermal. It unlocks the building, which we kind of want. Okay. If you see the uh, energy technology, don't bother getting it. Even though it's good, we don't have energy districts, kind of sadly. Oh, we do have scrap. Someone in chat saying no on the scrap miners. No, we've got seven scrap miners. They're doing good. They're doing the Lord's work, making a small amount of minerals, but 1.2 alloys a piece and a little bit of trade value. Oh, the trade value is so just much the information. Pops. You know, this, you this, this tab is kind of useful. It is. I should it, look it, at it, it more It tells often. you everything. This is like <laughs> the main tab I look at in my games. I can't lie. Um, the fact that you didn't go to population... I really, I was like, I can tell he's not going to population and that's why his economy is... Like, your economy was so ahead at the start of the game. It was much better than the economy we currently have right now. Um, can't lie. It, that That's... I was starting at, I think, 42. Let's um, build... Uh, let's build... Consumer let's goods. Up, would you queue up a colony ship in the capital and then swap the trade hub over to a shipyard? So do those two actions. Do you know how to do both? The tr swap, I assume you do. Yes. Yeah, cool. Let's do that. Shipyard. What? Where am I putting this colony ship? I've got nothing to build it. Uh, yes, you do. Those two habitable sections can be colonized. I'm getting rid of the trade hub? Yes. Don't need it. You said? And, yeah, yeah. And don't putting in it. a shipyard. And then we'll Done. take planetary unification, if you please. Ground defense, genetic, or... Planetary, planetary unification. Already? Yeah. I've only got 15 per That's month. That's fine. We want the additional edicts. Okay. Which we might choose to run. Oh, I'm 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 putting it on the shattered ring and then going through the uh, the steps to putting what on the shattered ring. Take care of that. The colony that you just had me build. Yeah, habitable section A or B. It doesn't really matter. Just or A, uh, sorry, B or okay. D. It doesn't matter which one you put it on. Um, we're gonna do something funky when it arrives. Don't worry, it's fine. We'll deal with that later. Uh. Stop buying those alloys for right now, actually, I think. At this precise moment, we want the energy for a little bit. So if you go to the... Right, okay, you got rid of it. A faster way is to set the max buy price to 1. That then means it won't buy it unless the price is 1 and the price is never 1. And then you want to turn it back on again, you can go back and turn the max price back to 0. If you see what I'm talking okay. about. But don't yes, worry about I it, do. it's fine. Um... 
Some grab two. Flows. Grab the TU system, definitely. Okay. Why not? Uh, and Bokramar, we might as well throw down a gun battery there while we're at it. In the, the other star base Just you've one. got. Yeah, go on. Just one? Yeah, go on. We don't know exactly what we're going to use it for right now, so so why not? Right. Yeah, and, the grab one of those and the jammer? Two. No, no, for now we're just, just... No, no, we don't want to spend all the allies. We just want a little gun battery there, just so it can fend off of, if a fleet comes in. It has a little bit of time. Actually, you... Ah, no, it's fine. That's fine. Yeah, put the colony ship down. Do your stuff. All right. Um, fusion reactor, survey speed, or energy grid? Colony ship. No, I... Re <laughs> physics research. No, I know. Colony ship's more important. Colony ship. The physics yes, research can wait because we'll save the points anyway and we can spend them later on. So if you wait on selecting the research, you don't lose anything. You can wait six months and you'll still have the, it'll still take the same amount of time. Okay. Because it, it caches the points. At the moment, we're storing physics research rather than researching, and then we'll apply that physics research after the fact. Um, on this, on this planet, in a minute, we're going to be clearing a block of it. Give me, give it a minute. For now, though, yeah, go for a fusion reactor. All right. So for the scientist, yep. Charisma, two. he's not on. But yeah, but he's not on the council yet. Yeah. Oh, all right. Doesn't go matter. for survey speed then. No, go for survey speed. Let's grab the extra survey speed. Why not? Uh, on your capital, you do need to switch over to a forge capital as well. So if you go to the designation for that, yes. And that will switch the consumer good jobs from the industrial district over to alloy jobs. Uh, and then actually queue up a city district followed by an industrial district on the capital. Slightly inefficient that way. We'll live with it. And I also, yeah, fusion reactor I'd recommend on the research. And shout if I'm going too quickly. All right, nebula, corvette, hull points, or exoskeletons. What? Oh, uh, on this bottom one. For um, zero G refo. There is one down in two. Zero G refinery, yeah, because we have a nebula. Zero G refinery. And actually, with your science ship in Saldar, I would survey one system south of there. Once it's done or now? Once it's done. Yeah, queue up as a second. If you use shift, yeah. you can queue it up. Does the opposition have a live stream going? No. They don't. Uh, if you go to Bontag Citadel and you go to the features, you'll notice you can clear blockers. Would you begin clearing one of the decrepit tunnels, please? You can do that while it's building. Yes. Interesting. Okay. And it will, well, did, you clicked it, didn't you? You clicked one of them, didn't you? Yes, I, yes, yes, yeah, I did. Good. Yeah, it does, it, it, it does do that. It's a bit odd. Uh, you can clear block as well. It's going, yes. Um, uh, probably as well, build a star, upgrade the star base in two while, while we're here. Oh, no, you've gone to Mirach. No, I meant the system south of two. There's one dead south of two. Not east. Do you see where I mean? Yes. Yes, gotcha. now yeah, I do. Cool. Gotcha. Alrighty. Uh, upgrade the Prime Fleet. Might as well. To our Tier 2 lasers. Chat, this is why I don't do player... Don't do the, the tournament anymore. And let's go to Fleet Manager. And let's click plus... Seven times. Let's go to 20 ships. And then if you click the Reinforce Fleet button, you'll get the new ships as well. Did you click the Reinforce Fleet button? No, now you did. I, 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 I did. I did. And now, actually, I think we've got better ships. We might have better ships than our opponent. We can go say hello. Are you doing the first contact? No, you're not. Sorry, you should do the first contact. Um, the one in the Moor system, you should send an envoy into that so we can actually see them. I thought I had... But that must no, have been that the was one of the cast uh... Oh, 
They're the exotic gases one too. That's a good one. Don't buy another edict at this point. We're probably going to fire this early. No, are we? 44 months? That's no, probably not worth it. Not at 11 unity a month that we're making. Oof. Montu giving orders now, question mark, says Tommaso. Yes. No, it's coaching. <laughs> Helpful coaching. Defense engineer or resilience for the Archon? Uh, Next trade. Defense engineer. Oh, yeah. And skirmisher level Done. two. Skirmisher level two. And the minister of state gets. And I'm going to say something a bit weird here. No, no, private mines. Go for private mines. Okay. You're the boss. No, no, you're the boss. Uh, yeah, sure. Um. How, what's our fleet size? Yeah, bring that fleet down south to two. We're going to go exploring with a... the fleet. Oh, okay. Just kind of go east. Lose your superiority front. <laughs> oh, did we get faction spawning? The loser yes, superiority did. front has 95% <laughs> approval. Factions mean our unity is actually going to come out pretty quickly here. Get the great game. Complete it. They've come just exactly as we expected them to. Excellent. Right. Kill that starts. Kill that science ship. Oh, yeah. Get the great game. Right. Other thing. Policies and edicts. War, uh, d uh, blah, 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 blah. War doctrine. Hit and run. Do you see what I'm talking about? In policies yes. and edicts. War doctrine. Hit and run. Yes. Yep. 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 We're getting there. That means we won't die. Let's go with hydroponics farming. That's the best technology in society. And then carrier operations. Hydroponics and carrier operations. You know, we could do something a bit weird here. We could go for mercenaries. It might actually work at this level. Let's hold off on the Ascension perk for now. Uh, just use that fleet to attack their ships. Kill it. Quick, they're going to kill you. Kill them. Hit them with 2k. Show them the meaning of pain. Vengeance. Quick, go into Eltov. Attack. Uh, if you see... I'm, yes, I'm, yes. I'm <laughs> Fight back. Make them suffer. Uh, also, build more ships at the capital starbase. Queue up more ships. Spend all the alloys on ships. Attack, attack the, attack the ships. Follow them. Follow them. Jump to the next system as well. Just go east. Send your ships east. Why didn't it follow them? Yeah, because they jumped out of your vision. You have to. So when I say follow them, I meant. Like queue up going east. You probably have to queue more. There, you probably have to micro a bit. In the capital, queue up a bunch of uh, corvettes as well. And you need to buy two hundred food. Seven enough. No, more. buy two hundred. Like buy no, two hundred uh, in the market. Corvette, 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 Corvette. Uh, you're How about many? to run out of food, and that will cause a massive bigger issue. You're at 21 over 13, so if you click the buy 100 food button. There, oh, 500? That was a lot. All right, fair enough. Um, yeah, just keep going. You see where they are now? We found them. Right. Yep. Um, have we got enough to claim the capital? Yes, we do. Claim the capital. Declare war. And in the two system, two gun batteries, I think. Did you claim the capital? Yes. yes. You did. Awesome. Two gun batteries in the two system. I think that that star base you built. And communication jammer. Yes, no, maybe. No, no, no. Two 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 gun batteries. Save the rest of your allies for more ships. Uh, and actually that other fleet, set it to follow the main fleet. 
Or no, no, don't say to follow. Bring it up to the two system, probably. And the main fleet, send it towards the enemy. We're, you know, we, we, need to, we need to strike while the iron is hot here. Do what must be done. Show no mercy. Uh, something, something. <laughs> Head of research, get Spark of Genius 2. Thank you very much. You will not know fear. You will not know pain. You will taste man flesh. Uh, more Corvettes. More Corvettes. Spend all the alloys on Corvettes. I think, I think, I think, I think the prey is cornered. You're going to have to be careful Improved. with this. When we jump in, you might need to run away immediately if they have more ships. They have more ships. Run away, run away, run away, run away, run away, run away, run away. You need to run away. You're going to die. I'm You're working on it. I'm working on it. I'm working. Okay. It doesn't want to listen to me. It doesn't want to listen to me. All right. It's too late. They're going to die. Oh, no. Don't undo. Undo. You run. Oh. What are their ships like? They have red lasers. Okay. Retreat if you get the chance. I. That's fine. That's did not. fine. That's fine. Um, you built those gun batteries on the starbase, didn't you? Good. Yes. Ship designer, let's go to defense platform and build a better defense platform. So if you just basically replace all the sections with blue laser and then right click on all the defensive modules and then click save. Everything's blue laser. Everything's blue laser. Medium and, and light station. It doesn't matter. Just leave it as it is. It's fine. I mean, it should all be small, but like we haven't got the time. We need to start building them immediately. And how many am I building? Uh, one at the two system. Because well, after you save it, one at the two. No, you haven't. You haven't. That's not the right design. I saved it. You still on? got all the defensive it. modules, so delete. Uh, don't let it build. If you undo the build by clicking on it in the defense queue, that'll get rid of it. But I saved it. No, but you didn't right-click on the. You need to right-click on all the defensive modules to save. Uh, right-click on to get rid of them, so there should be no armor or shields. And also, there's a couple of there's a couple of missiles. I think what you did was you clicked auto. You clicked auto complete and then click save. All right, so I'm getting rid of all the defensive stuff. No defensive stuff and all lasers. So replace the missiles with blue lasers. All right, they're already there. It's uh, possibly a little too late now. Um... Oh, no. Oh, no, they're attacking. Oh, no. Oh, we're going to lose that fleet. Oh, no. Oh, and you didn't build the... Oh, okay, right. Um, uh, okay, uh, it's fine. It's all fine. On the ca Have you saved that defense platform design yet? Yes, yes. Yes, build it at the capital. Build build two of them at the cap... Queue up two of them at the capital. Great. Let's also build some Corvettes there as well. Keep up some Corvettes. How long until our ships return? Oh, eight. Okay. Yeah, okay. A couple of months. It's all right. They've only taken a Starbase. It's fine. We're fine. Build another industrial district uh, on the capital. And uh, let's recruit some armies. So... On your planet, you need to unclick on the capital. You need to unclick the deploy in orbit button. There's a tick box on the armies tab. Now click okay. recruit and like queue up 20 armies or something. Great. Okay. And uh, oh, don't forget that industrial district. No shield or armor chat because it's too expensive. 
Uh, queue up another defense platform at the capital. And your main fleet, you need to select them and right click on the capital, on the capital star base, so they'll start repairing. Or just select them and click the uh, the return button. Just as long, just need, oh, click the repair fleet button. Excellent. Yep. Cool. Build another defense platform. How All did right. he get 3,600 already? Uh, we have a roughly the same. It's just ours was split into two other fleets. So when we went in with our probing attack, we didn't quite have enough. The other fleet that arrived, bring it back to the capital as well. Yeah, combine that. Oh, brilliant. Combine it into one big fleet. Yeah, see, we got 2.6k now. We would have had more. Had it been the case. Oh, it's on aggressive. No, it's on aggressive. Oh, shit. <laughs> it's all right. It's all right. I didn't oh. swear. This should actually be a win for us. I'm hopeful because of the star base. I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful. We're losing far too many ships here. Why are all our ships just dying? We're not on hit and run, are we? Yeah, we're on hit and run. I don't understand why they're all dying. We've lost all of our ships and they've basically lost none. I don't understand why they didn't. Oh, because we're in the home system. So they couldn't emergency FTL. Fork. Uh, we have a food deficit. Buy a few hundred food. We are in a real problem now because all of our ships just died. We had equivalent fleet. They lost basically nothing and our ships just died instead of retreating. All right. This could be worse. We are still flying half a ship. <laughs> Planetary build speed for uh, assembly pattern. Uh, let's take Let's take the unyielding tradition. Unyielding? Yep, looking. To the bottom. It. Yep. And then take defensive and... zeal. Okay. I can't believe we lost all our ships there. It's so annoying. Ugh. Right, the only thing we can now do basically is build defense platforms. Start buying 10, allo 10 alloys per month. Stop buying minerals. Oh, we've got crime at 50%. Brilliant. You need to employ the enforcer. How many alloys? Huh? How many alloys per oh, month? 10. 10 a month. 10 a month. Okay, we're going to make a change now. I want you to create a new design for defense platforms with double hangar section. Um, no, it probably won't work against them because of the picket defense. Uh, yeah, we need we need to go. Yeah, no, just keep up with this defensive design. It's fine. Build more defense platforms. Build another. We're red across the board, that's fine. On our planet though, we should clear another decrepit tunnels because it gives us alloys for free. We're now in defensive mode and we don't want to die. Important thing here. Right. Um... Yes, Chad, I'm really bad at this game, as you can tell. No, 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 you're not. You're not. It's just, it's just, we, no, we, we, we were caught slightly out of position. And unfortunately, you weren't able to issue a retreat order in time, which meant we did get caught. If we'd managed to engage him in the two system with all of our ships together, we would have been okay. We would have won the fight, like we did in the capital, basically. Um, and unfortunately, that didn't happen. Uh, more defense platforms. All right, in the capital. so yes, um, I got two queued up. Um, yep. Ascension perk. First one. I mean. Yeah. Mastery of nature for the clear no, no, marker no, cost. No, no. Oh, uh, yeah, actually, yeah, go on. That's a good call. Good call, my young Thank Padawan. You. I'm, I'm not nearly as dumb as I look. Critical Reese, what am I shortage? What's my... 
food, but it's Shortage fine because we're, about, no, we're about to go out of it because we, we we went into a proper deficit, but we're now okay. Okay. We may, like, we're in a, a, a tough position here. What we really want is the star-based technology, basically. If we can get it, we might not be able to. It is what it is. This will give me six defense platforms right now, the one I'm building now. Cool. Change over a uh, one of the shipyards to a hangar bay. <laughs> and we're going to throw down a a um, and we're going to throw down a communicate then throw down the communications jammer instead Replace of the Crew Throw Instead that crew, of the quarters crew quarters into the, out of the airlock. And then build Corvettes with whatever's left in alloys. And we're just going to build Corvettes until we have Corvettes. I'm just Churchilling and Yearns. Yearn was like, defense platforms, you cowards. And I've now responded with, mm, nice. we will fight you in the space lanes. We will fight you in the orbits and across the skies. We will never surrender. All right. More Corvettes. You, you have alloys to Corvettes. All right, so on the colony, what am I doing? Nothing. That colony is for pop growth only. Do not touch it. Let the pops build and then migrate over to the capital. We, uh, okay. But if you've got the energy, re remove a decrepit tunnel. Energy grid? No, no, no. Do not build the energy grid. Oh, so sorry, the survey speed is the only... Um, no, take, sorry, take the take. tech. Yes, yeah, sorry, take the tech. I okay. thought you meant... And then ground defense planning. The love of God, ground defense planning. I'm, I'm thinking you want me to pick the naval capacity from soldier jobs and the defense army damage. Yes. Call me crazy. Yes. That's sorry. That's ground. That is ground defense planning. Y yes, I. And my armies are building. And now we're going to take resistance is frugal, for more defense army health. And then. I'd like you to build a, a stronghold on the capital. Why are these ships out of date? What's going on? Uh, oh, it doesn't matter. Don't upgrade them. <laughs> how much did you lose in the war asked michael kane uh we so far we've lost almost our we lost our entire navy because the engagement in the capital didn't go well basically uh more corvettes you might as well set your science ships to auto explore at this point or actually set them to all no set them to do the anomalies so if you go to the automation settings on your auto explore Turn off everything except do anomalies and set them both to do that. Because that way, we'll, we're going to get bonuses from those anomalies. That, that I think will be worth it. Let's change over our, our economic policy to militarized economy, if you would. I'm hoping we reach star reach star holds. Okay. Um, Militarized economy. Yes. Build another a city district on the capital.
And then we're going to take Never Surrender. We shall fight on the soils. We shall fight in the heavens. We shall fight in the asteroid belts and in the hyperlanes and in the nebulas. We shall fight with growing strength and confidence amongst the stars. We shall never surrender. <laughs> Deep core mining, refi uh, gas refining, afterburners. Ugh. Um, afterburners. And then build more Corvettes. Right, they can force us to peace out soon, but that's irrelevant. Uh, Jumping to Siska's more in taking. Oh, they yes. claimed. Yeah, huh? they claimed some system. They claimed that's systems. Fine. So that's fine. That's fine. Jumping to Siska's more in take it. If we retake a couple of star bases from them, we'll be annoying. Get ready to pull out, though. So make sure you have the fleet selected to pull back if they if they appear. Spy network. Oh yeah, that's a good idea. Uh, you should also probably buy a couple, a couple hundred food. No, that was too many. That's oh yeah, it's fine. Um, would you go to your capital? And if you oh go to the population tab, would you click on the farmer job? That will force the more force more pops to work as farmers, which will solve our food problem. Uh, you need to put. Oh, you no. don't back with the fleets. Okay. Oh, okay. <sighs> I didn't see them as well. That's okay. Um, I think. I think. I think we're gonna die. Oh, you didn't start building <laughs> the hangar bay on the star base. Okay. 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 What? Okay. Huh? Uh, on the capital, you didn't replace the shipyard with a hangar bay. But that's that's something. How are they getting this many ships so fast? They they didn't lose any ships. We've built as many ships as they have. The issue is our ships, we fought them. Basically, we fought them. They, they've had, in every engagement, they basically defeated us in detail is the best way I can explain it. Um, that first engagement, we saw them but didn't retreat when it was the odds weren't in our favor, so we had to fall back. The second engagement, we built defensive platforms instead of additional ships like they've built. Um, and, and yeah, uh, it's fine. <laughs> Would you queue up as many assault armies as you can on the capital? Or you can't anymore because they're bombarding. Maybe can you can you recruit any assault armies on the capital? Yep. Recruit. Just queue up as many as you can. Oh uh, wait, more, more, more. Stop. Cool. This is fine. Everything's fine. Let's. I'm gonna go to the full. I want to go to full observer mode then. Uh, let's bring Yearn because I think we're almost. We're almost dead. Let's bring Yearn in. I want. Let's go and talk <laughs> to the others, shall we? Okay. Great. Hello. Hi. Hello. We're not dead yet. Are, we're are almost you, dead. Are you guys ready to surrender? No, no, we're not gonna surrender. But I'm gonna go. To, I want to go to the full observer mode and, and have a chit chat, Yearn, about stuff because we're not gonna surrender. You have to yeah. actually invade us. Um, okay. So what's your alley income? I'm curious. Thirty-seven. Uh, Thirty-seven. Sick. The issue, oh, 50 something. Uh, the issue is, or oh, 47 now, actually, because you're bombarding us down. 49. Mm -hmm. um, and we've just hit an energy deficit. Of course, we did, whatever. Um, I would probably stop buying, <laughs> stop buying the alloys. That'll solve that problem immediately. So, uh, what, what was the problem, Manju? Um, there was a bit where I shouted I to David for about five minutes going, pull back, pull back, pull back, pull back. And, uh, and then he's pulled back after your fleet. He'd gone past your fleet running into it. And I went, <laughs> oh, that was kind of my response on this end. Um, but otherwise, we had roughly the same ship numbers and I think equivalent tech because we both had blue. No, you didn't even have blue lasers. We had blue lasers, it, tier we, two armor. We got blue lasers, but we didn't have time to upgrade before we went out. Yeah, no, the issue. So we had equivalent fleet power to you, but we had it split up. We were meant to do a little probing attack to see where you were. And we just got caught with our pants mm -hmm. down. Um, you get baited in by the single corvette attacking your your ship, right? No, no, we wanted to do the fight because we were like, well, let's let's go and see what they've got. Um, and the plan was to, if they have too much, run away. And we just didn't manage to do that second part, which was the running away bit, unfortunately. Uh, it's it's really so, uh, grace, did, it's graceful you, of Batu to say we. What's your um, what's your traditions? Uh, domination one, supremacy five, unyielding three. 
No uh, subterfuge. No, we're not taking subterfuge. Well, I'm pretty sure that plus 10 tracking and plus 5 evasion helped us quite a bit. Sure, but we didn't have the time to take it. We took on yielding after we lost that fight, the first one. And Fair then enough. we switched into defense platforms. Um, yeah, we noticed. Yeah, yeah. But again, we have the flak laser build, so I, I don't know what you put we, on the defense platform. Uh, laser defense platforms. Ah, okay. So it should have been... I mean, it, what, we won that for, We won the engagement in our home system with less forces, so it, it did... Yeah. Good. But but we had did you have hit and run? Yes, we did. But because we were in our capital and you'd occupied all of our other yeah, systems. You, ne you never want to hit and run with the in, in defense. No well we, 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 we couldn't change out of it by that point, unfortunately. Yeah. It, so during that engagement you lost I think three or four ships and we lost our entire fleet. Uh which I think is we lost point. five, but yeah. yeah. Exactly. And we lost thirty ships. Or something yep. like that. So <laughs> we have we built noticed. as many ships as you've built. We just we just didn't look after them as well. It seems. Mm -hmm. Once once again, it's very nice of you uh, to by say. By the way, Naki, just uh, keep building more armies. Yeah, you're gonna need them. We might we might. Our, need our, them. our garrison size is going up, not down. <clears throat> yeah, but once we hit a hundred a uh, hundred per uh, devastation. Quick, take we'll um going. take adaptable adaptability two, and actually no no I've got an even better plan. <laughs> Uh, reform the government. Remove, remove merch. Uh, let me set one second. Yeah, brilliant. Remove functional architecture, would you? Reform government, remove functional architecture, replace with reanimators. If you would, please. Oh, come We're on. We're not dead yet. You're at 82% war exhaustion. <laughs> we might be able to outlast you and then come back swinging. I'll have you know. We're not, we, we will never surrender. Uh, <clears> hmm. <throat> Uh, by the way, build. Oh, yeah, I already built the energy grid. Have you turned on the edict as well? Yeah, go and turn on capacity subsidies. If they want to drag it out, I guess we might as well beat them. <laughs> uh, go up to buying food, 10 alloys please. per month. Buy 10 alloys per month and 42 minerals again. <laughs> Chat, um, have you been enjoying this anyway? Um, great. I have an idea that the chat usually enjoys me beating you. Oh, all right. Would just... you? Uh, you didn't beat me. No, no, Nagi beat. Me. Oh, yeah. Nagi was gonna... beat David. That's true. Yeah, Nagi beat. Technically, David. it's Chad beating you because it's from one to play community. Yeah, exactly. The yeah. community have beaten us. David, you're being beaten by yourself. <laughs> Are you ready to surrender um... to High King David Woodmansey? <laughs> I promise I'd do this. David, stop hitting yourself. Stop <laughs> hitting yourself. Uh, queue up more armies. Replace uh, the research lab. Mr. Replace Mr. the research lab with a reanimation thing. This is going to take a while. Uh, we have time. We have time. Yeah, just keep reinforcing uh, with the, the destroyers, I said. Yeah, would you replace the, the research lab with the reanimator uh, reanimator building as well, David? The it's dread, um, dread dreading camera? Destroyers exactly. is, uh, lasers on the gunship, and then you change the interceptor to a picket stone where you put on two uh, flex. And then just start building as many destroyers as you can. And don't forget to keep recruiting. Oh, actually, no, don't recruit an army. Buy 500,000 uh, minerals. Oh, uh, how do we design our destroyers? Uh, lasers on the three main Ooh. components. Choose the picket stone and then put in two flags. Sell 500 alloys as many of those for more as energy. Wait, gunship bow? Uh, is that the one that would f uh, the P slot? Oh, we need to still be recruiting armies, though. An important thing. Oh, we okay. can't stop. There must always be an army yeah, under pick, construction. Picket ship stone. David. Chat, says oh, armor, oh, Chat was saying watching this is both very informative uh, one and stressful. shield breast armor. Oh, well, uh, yeah, two, two shield breast armor. And then uh, afterburners. And we are yep. currently oh, yeah. three subscribers away from the sub goal on Twitch and YouTube. We are 10 subscribers away from the 10 subscriber sub goal on YouTube. Twitch has clearly won again. I have, so, uh, uh, Twitch, Twitch, if we hit the next sub goal, when we take their capital, we'll rename the system to Twitch instead you're of social media. You have 92% war exhaustion. What do you mean, take their capital? We'll accept your surrender any time now, Yurtz. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, if you want to end the war, you can, when you get the chance. We, we don't have second strike. That dread encampment's about to come online, and when it does, oh boy. 
<laughs> by the way, Naki, once uh, once you can pop second strike, don't do it right away. We'll wait until they piece us out, and then we instantly go to war with them again. Oh, you son of a gun! You son of a gun! <laughs> That's fine. Oh, we hit the we hit the sub goal again. Demon Moe, thank you very uh, much. Keep building armies. By oh. the way. What was it you said we had to do if we hit the sub goal, Yern? Uh, we'll we'll change your system from social media to Twitch. Oh, brilliant! Did we already do that? God damn it! No, you didn't. No, you didn't we do need, that. Need... Demon money already put us over a hundred. Yeah, we just we just we just hit over. So you need to change it now. Uh, right, I'll, I'll change the sub goal but, to one hundred and seventy-five. Oh, you have to change it for now, then, because we we haven't technically taken. No, it it's yet. your capital's called social media, not ours. Oh, it's our. Yeah, True. you're you're uh, you're Naki. the community. Yeah. Naki, go go to uh, go to our capital and change the name to Twitch, please. Uh, you something. go into the system and then in the bottom of the screen you click yeah. the social media and then change it there. Oh, would you uh, would you uh, click the uh, necromancer job, please? Um, hi uh, just click on that one. Like, click it to prioritize it. So if you go to population and just click the job, like to to prioritize it. Open C. No, no, no. You, you've unemployed it. No, no, no. No, don't, don't do that. No. Uh, I put so, it back. Yeah. No. Click on the like the the job button. Like the button which has the, the hand with the skull. If you click on that, it prioritizes it. Oh, okay. amazing. Yeah. Right. So in two years, they can end this war. But once they do, we just move back to the system. You claimed all of them, right? Yes. Yeah, good. So once they piece us out, we just move back to the secret system. We pop the... We'll probably... No, we, yeah, we'll, we'll repair the ships first. Destroy the rest we'll of the buildings. The Leave them with nothing. We'll go full scorched earth. Kill the civilian industries. Kill, kill the administrative offices. <laughs> Give them nothing. Nothing but fortresses. Cadia will break before or whatever. Look, <laughs> the planet will break before the guard does. Um, recruit undead <laughs> armies now. They're much better. By the way, Yern, you actually have enough armies to probably beat us in the fight. Uh, do we, though? We don't have any undead Not armies. If you have un we don't have any. Oh, yeah, look. land the armies. Land the Recruit. armies. Right away. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> they haven't landed, though. More full them. Quick, put a general in. Put, 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 recruit an admiral. Oh, it's too late. Oh, they've got it. Oh, no. Oh, God. I wonder when we kill them if we get undead armies. No, no we don't, because we don't have any. Oh. Blood for the blood god! Oh, we do! We're getting the undead armies! <laughs> Suck on this one! <laughs> uh, Feel our wrath! Retreat the armies! Retreat the armies! Don't retreat the armies! Continue fighting! Cowards! Cowards! Quick, you quick, quick, are fools! Get, get. Just keep bombarding them. No! No fighters! We'll you cowards! Halfway, fight us on the ground! We have six pops left. You know you're gonna kill our entire empire probably before you um before you take that planet. We cannot. What is our, what our ethics one. anyway? Authoritarian militarist materials. We are not even xenophobe. Yeah. Reform yeah, Ganava. You no, uh, you're purging uh, an entire population. Five yeah, pops. Pick out pace just for the heck of it. Oh, they auto landed. Um, <laughs> yeah, that was amazing. That means they, that I hired. They, hi they can uh, win. I hired a ge I hired a oh. general and he died instantaneously. Yeah, brilliant. Yeah, that's what happens. <laughs> yeah, and then on top of that, we we are we are we are dying. We we've lost the combat. We we've lo oh, oh no oh no. Uh, Die. Spam, spam, give uh, achieve send them the achieve war goals. Oh, fuck. send them achieve war goals. Confuse them. No, send achieve war goals. Send now achieve war goals to them. them. Nagi, send achieve war goals. No, the loser coalition lost. It's unthinkable. Excellent. <laughs> So I, I think Twitch chat, we could not have done this without you. I think that if 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 um if 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 Woodbansy at any point questions Nagy's integrity, I think we can draw we can just point a link to this video, right? <laughs> and you say Nagy, you did great. Thank you. I was uh, I was a, a harsh taskmaster, but you did everything perfect. I thought I was being super harsh, and I asked chat, uh, and James came in saying, "No, no, Yern is is riding Nagy hard," and I was like, "Oh." Crap. I was like, yeah. turn off one clerk job. Now turn back on the clerk job. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I was. Uh, we were more dealing with like, take this star system. Which one? That one. But which one? No, that one. Which one? That one. Oh no, not that one. This one. <laughs> it was. Uh, and we That's did find the population tab. We did find it.
Yes, yes, and I was using it. I clicked on things, and it was did a joy you, to behold. Did you also design ships? Yes. I'm assuming you used the uh, flag blue laser as well. Yeah, yeah, you can, you yes. can see in the stream. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I haven't, uh, I haven't been stream sniping. Oh, fair. I'm, fair. I'm a good guy. No, I mean you went to watch it back. Oh, yeah, well, I, I will definitely watch it all back. <laughs> Uh, You'll see I've also we... been recording my my point of view. Yeah. Uh, so we'll upload that at some point. Only well, on think... the first game, I forgot to change my audio settings so it doesn't have any any in-game sound. Ooh. Fair. Which is That's kinda... not the end of the world. Um, all right, so I think we can say successfully we've uh, completed our first noob deathmatch. And, I mean, chat, would you like to see more of... Uh, sorry, I could call it a noob deathmatch. I think that's unreasonable. Re the point I want to distinguish is that you guys are not hardcore PvP players. And I think that's the important yeah. point that we're trying to make. I, I think we're... I, I'm good with noob. I'm okay I, with it. I think I it's think, inflammatory think to Maggie like, because oh. this was some fantastic play. Um, we, we, this we was the first time I, I actually played real PvP, like, apart from, you know, Admiral games where we might yeah. fight each other and stuff is like that. Is your heart going? What was uh, no. Not stressful, Actually, no stress? Not. Oh, okay. No, no, not stressful. Um, cool as a I've, had, I've ex experienced much more stress when I was uh, running um, Ocarina of Time randomizer races. Okay. It does sound stressful. So, uh, the question for the viewers, what did you enjoy the most? Us casting, the players playing against each other, or this coaching part? Don't forget to tell us in chat, Twitchers and Tubers. Yeah. yeah. Twitchers and Tubers. I think the real MVP, though, here is the Halifarian Confederacy. They won, didn't they? Yeah, yeah, they're up north with their fantastic, um, prosperous unification, parliamentary system mining guilds. Oh, God damn it, Yearn. They stole our thing. They said the thing we said we wouldn't do, and the AI did it for us. <laughs> they actually have more pops than you. How? And that because, means that we only took one uh, planet. Yeah, we took yeah. a planet. Just for, we took a planet to um, to use the uh, the tile blockers because we could trade three or four hundred energy for a hundred alloys and two hundred minerals. So we our first uh, guaranteed had the uh, seven generator district. So we just made a generator world on it. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You didn't take the sixteen pots. No. I'm shook. shook. Uh, I was pretty sure it would be a mistake. Mistake. Yeah, probably. I mean, no. After you were in the lead on the it war, you probably could have done. Oh yeah, for sure. But uh, if you could actually have pieces out without us just second striking you, we it would have been right. But like at that point, I was. Pretty oh sure no, we even won. if we pieced you out, just... we had like five or ten pops left. We were done. You know, we, <laughs> we yeah. weren't coming back from that. Oh, but this was even before the um, before we started bombarding you. Uh like Jeez. after the first battle, I was pretty sure we won. Uh the one in the shock on system. No, uh, oh that as well. That I actually thought that was all your fleets at that point. No, thought, that's the oh, thing is we had equivalent won. number of fleets to you. We were making, okay. I think we were probably making about the same amount of alloys. We were making 30, 40 alloys a month. Um, just most mm -hmm. of our fleets were, but we had other fleets in the two and the Lockerel system. And we we, we were going in with a, in the, the theory was a probing attack to fall back. And we, as I said, yeah. didn't manage that fall back. I, I, yeah, I didn't do the fall back part of that. <laughs> you mean this next is some, day on the next boat retreating? Point. Oh, go on. Sorry, go on, James. I'll say need me to t teach him next time an expert retreating, right? <laughs> yeah, we need some <laughs> retreating lessons. And retreat now, retreat now. We, we should have done some practice runs, um, maybe. Uh, somebody in chat saying I, that the, I, the general position say... of having to direct the game just through voice is an interesting level of difficulty. It's kind of like Time Commanders, if anyone remembers that show from the UK from like 20 years ago where they played Rome Total War and they had like two generals and two uh, lieutenants and the generals had to shout across the room at the lieutenants the lieutenants had to tell two players who actually were playing the game what to do um i think that yeah I, yeah i really enjoyed time commanders when i when i was younger it feels really unreal that uh i've been the only one who who did the actual clicks in game mm -hmm. <laughs> and endurance was really just telling me what to do that's and getting getting that much 
getting that much speed power that early in the game, um, <laughs> it feels so unreal. So, to be fair, it is at the cost of like everything else. You're not making research. Yeah. You are yeah. making a decent amount of Unity. Unity was actually not as bad as I thought. We were making 16 from day one. We were we were roughly the same. Um, I, yeah, yeah, I we, do we think that to finish probably did help you with the plus 10 tracking, to be fair. Well, did no, you early launch that. your military build-up as well, by the way? No. We haven't launched it. I, oh. I had. I had. We didn't launch no, we, it, did we? We managed to launch, we, we managed right, right, launch it, military build-up before right. uh, we started building any ships. Yeah, um, mm. Montu, I clicked it right before he came into the home system. Right before he did yeah, that Yeah, no, we did, we did Evolving Society first for the extra Unity because we were suffering on Unity. Yeah, I think that's a mistake. Possibly. I mean, the thing is, we had, as I say, we had equivalent fleets. Had we have sat in two and then just engaged you that way, we probably would have won that engagement yeah. and not lost as many ships because hit and run then wouldn't have meant because hit and run did nothing in our capital we act none of our ships because it was in the capital disengaged they all just died yeah which was the biggest issue <laughs> <laughs> like my my being a noob because we're not a proper trade build i f um like we didn't take mercantile we were built having we had quite a few artisans i never started i never told Nag to swap around his capital designations Oh, we moved over to Alloy pretty early. Yeah, you could do that because you're a trade. We were still. Oh no, we didn't know. It's, we had no. We had trader districts which provide artisan jobs. Oh, but, ah, yeah, okay, fair enough. So we had the jobs, we just didn't always use them. Fair enough. You know. All right, I think so. This is David, fun. David, and I yeah. did you have fun? Mm. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was a lot more stressful, um, the coaching round. But I don't stress somehow, the, somewhat, yeah. I, I I don't stress much anyway. Um, but you know, but, but this is different than just sitting back and playing the game and just enjoying the story it tells, which is more of what I yeah. play. So, so one thing it, Nagi commented on was how many things I was telling him to click. Yeah. In the early game, there there and was think, so much clicking going on that. I think it's one of the things a lot of people who are new to multiplayer also uh, experience because they'll come into a game and ask you to go fastest in the early game because there's nothing happening. But the, the players who play in stuff like the Munch Multiplayer Madness, this is how much or more they're clicking. They're always taking actions. Oh, uh, yeah, the, the action efficiency. Yeah. Um, I bet PAX is probably doing, you know, 0 0.7, 0 0.8 clicks per second. Uh, I said no. Valdrex is did a... Um, did an analysis of the game where he got the APM numbers. Let me just see if I can find them. Ooh. Uh, but otherwise, though, I have fun. I, if you guys had fun, then that's, that's the important thing. I, I had a great time. I hope chat both chats did watching it. Something I think new, so. so. I think they did. It seems, it seems like they did. Okay, sorry. APM is... Is that action per minute, or is it something? Oh, it's alloys per minute. Never mind. I'm stupid. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Uh. <laughs> alloys per month. Per minute. Alloys per month. Yeah. Alloys per month. Alloys Not per actions month. per minute. Alloys per month, no. which is a slightly different metric. Oh, like, I was wondering if, like, the APM was saving the code in some way. I was really impressed with Valadrix. Of course, it's just alloys per month. I'm so dumb. <laughs> All right. Yes, I guess we'll... There um, is a lot of actions. We'll wrap it up here, though, because, uh, you know, people need to eat dinner, myself included. Um, and, uh, uh, and the viewers... Uh, I'd once again to ask you, join the Discord. Tell us what you liked about the stream. It's something new we tried. Uh, if we should try it again in the future, we'd really like your input on what you liked and what you didn't like. Yeah, guys, this was just a quick thing that we that Nagi and I decided we wanted to do, and then Montu said, let's stream it, and then we... It went, we went even a step... It went, yeah, it went even a step further this morning by saying, how about if we do where we coach you on the second yeah. round? Yeah. Which is a great idea. I, I, so. I had the, the feeling where I was on a similar level as Woodburn, but I wasn't quite sure whether yeah, one of us was actually better. So I wanted to find out. And, and what do you, we what found do you out. think you found he, out? Yeah, I'm, he, I'm, he's, I'm, he's, he's better. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what gave you that impression, Woodman? I, I mean, you, you did fine. No, I, you I, did... Still, I still would say, I still would say we, we, we were quite similar in the first round. Like, as you said, um, Woodman was ahead a long time. Uh, so I think the thing is, was really the, good in, in the second round, economically, we were very on par. The issue was more about 
our, on our end, our tactical ability was a bit lower. For example, in Suscats Moor, Woodman got caught again. Um, yeah, so we got caught twice with our pants down, somewhat, uh, which, uh, yeah. yeah. Again, graciously using the term "we," I appreciate that. <laughs> well, I mean, as as your coach, I have to throw myself under the bus. Yeah, there. He, he, he should have told you to pull back. I, I well, hold up. He did. He, he did. He did. <laughs> there was lots of screaming on he my did. end going on. A lot. <laughs> there's there's a there's a but, lot of clicking that's like, involved. Maybe, and maybe, sh <laughs> maybe screaming wasn't the correct thing to do. <laughs> No, the was... screaming's fine. It's it's not going to change my reaction time, and my reaction time isn't the fastest. I admit that. So, <laughs> but again, your economy management wasn't bad. Your decision making was a little bit bad, and your uh, your ship build uh, was bad. In the first one, yeah. 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 Um, it would have gone a lot differently if you, but like, manually learning about planet designations and ship designs would probably take you from Commodore to Admiral. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Well, I could, I can deal, I could deal with the planet. Um, I still don't feel comfortable on 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 Commodore actually. <laughs> I'm the, the the like I said. Every time I've gone up to Admiral, it, it uh, could just be that I'm just I, I get killed. There's a fanatic purifier that spawns right next to me. It's like the oh, game okay. is saying. It's like the game is saying you are not ready yet. Don't go there. <laughs> Stay on Commodore, get better. But yeah, thanks, thanks for the game. It was, it was good fun coaching, and it was good fun watching you. Yeah, yeah thanks this, for coming. This was fun, guys. Thank you. Thanks for suggesting. It you. was your suggestion, guys. All three guys. of you. All right, and I Munch will. Does oh, love some free content. Well, you know, it was nice to be able to host it <laughs> and, and, and so share this with there... hundreds of people across the world. I hope they, I hope you enjoyed, um, enjoyed that aspect of it as well. So Nagi Nagi has claimed emperorship now by virtue of toppling me. Oh uh, oh, so oh, so you've been what's it, in, what's it called in what's it called in what's it called in in Stellaris when you a uh, right of con right of combat for the councillor positions? Oh yes. yeah. <laughs> what's it called? Is it He's, right of combat he... that law? And it's January sixth. I'm going to get political. There's an insurrection. <laughs> oh my god, Dave. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Well, let's and find out what the Supreme Court shell. say, and then we'll know whether you're go, allowed to run for president there. again. Um, it's anywho, all in jest. Yeah, anywho. <laughs> all right, I'm going to mute you guys and say goodbye to chat. Um, but again, thank okay. you for thank you for suggesting this, and thank you for, for participating and being our guinea pigs. You're welcome. It was, it was a pleasure, really. It was fun. I'm going to leave voice chats. Uh, uh, I'm See hungry. You, See you, Nagy. See ya. I'll be back in, in a bit for a debrief, folks, if you want to have a chit-chat in a moment. One second. All right, stream. Where are you? Where's the stream gone? Uh, I've lost you. No, oh, Yearn's gone as well, so I should um, should get rid of him from the screen. Do, do, do. Boom! It's just you and me now, chat. Just you and me. All right, if you want to join the Discord community, um, there's links to that I posted. Go to montuplays.com. Then on that website, there's a bu in the menu, there's like, join the Discord community. Click on that link. It takes you to the Discord. Um, otherwise, if you've watched live, thank you. Those lovely people that donated um, on Twitch for hitting our sub goals three times. Amazing. Ursula, big props to you for that one. Wow. Uh, Natero and De uh, Demon Moe, thank you as well. And of course, all those people that joined um, with your Prime subscriptions too. On the YouTube side of things, thank you for the Super Chats. Uh, we had one from Bernard. Uh, our first ever Super Chat from... Ba, ba, ba. Uh, I've lost it now. JD, I want to say. Thank you as well. Um, oh, and otherwise, I will see you pop, not live this next week, but um, there'll be videos coming out. I will see you all soon. Where can I have a video? We're going to have this video for a wonderful wallpaper. Basically, just go to... Still, uh, the video, I think, assuming the one one you're seeing now, just Google Stellaris trailers, and you'll get the, these. This is just Stellaris trailer footage, actually. So go go see you. Otherwise, as I said, I'm going to be streaming regularly Tuesdays, Thursdays, and while well, timelines is on on Saturdays, starting from uh, just over two weeks' time, from just after the 20th of January. So um, uh, ba -ba -ba, until until next time, I suppose, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, it's been fun. I've been Montu. Uh, Bye-bye.